probably a little late. That journey to the kitchen took a little too long. Me wandering the plains of my, my kitchen took a little too long. And then I realized I didn't have any time. So breakfast is now peanuts. Squid, thank you for the four minds. Saw a small prisoner rappelling down a prison wall yesterday, telling the other prisoners how much better he was than them. I guess he was a little condescending. <laughs> That's a B, I think, chat. You've got the right sense. Arslan, thank you so much for joining us. It's 1248. Goodness. What are you doing? Doctor, thank you so much for the prime. Buzz Clarence, thank you for the 22 months. Get Fisher, thank you for the five months. Mikano, thank you for the prime. Osura Line, thank you so much for the 23 months. Thank you guys for supporting the stream, my dudes. And I'm excited for today. Joshua, oh my. Oh. Yo, dude. Thank you for making five people's days, Joshua. Thank you for gifting five subs. Giving to five people the ad-free experience. I appreciate you. And I I am no, I am excited for today. I, I'm not, though, at the same time. I'm not excited for humanity. Did anybody see what Barcelona did? Did anybody see what Barcelona did? This actually has nothing to do with money. This has nothing to do with money. No, not making their own kits. That has to do with money. So Barcelona added somebody back to their legends page like today. You will never guess who they added back. It was Danny Alves. <laughs> they went, for some reason, they just decided to add Danny Alves back to their legends page on their website. I'm not lying to you. This is, the, this is the, one of the articles covering it. I remind you, I remind you, Danny Alves was convicted of sexual assault, but he is in jail right now. There is nothing that makes less sense than this. Like if you're going to attempt to support him, right? Why? Like. Wait four and a half years. Then you at least have some sort of flimsy, nonsensical argument for why you're doing this. But you know what I mean? Joshua, thank you for the five gifted subs. Doom Siege, thank you for the 10 gifted subs. Dude, thank you so much for supporting the stream, giving 10 people the ad-free experience. Thank you for supporting the stream with kindness, too. Ah. Joshua with 10 gifted subs as well. We're starting the day hot. We're starting the day with some energy. Thanks for the raid. No, I got you, Pauline. I hope you had a good time, dude. Brooks, thank you for the 10 months. Like, this is insane. I'm sorry. This is one of the craziest things I've ever seen. This is one of the craziest things I've ever seen. And I feel like Barcelona should get absolutely flamed for this. This isn't even... As much as you don't want to draw a difference, this isn't even the Mason Greenwood situation because we're talking about somebody that went into a court of law, was convicted, and thrown in prison. We're one step further, right? This is indisputable prison FC starting right back, and they have decided to put him on the legend section of the web. I got to see it for myself. 
I had to see it for myself. I'm going to go find it. I'm going to go find him. Where's your legend section? Museum, maybe? No. First team, maybe like honors. Where are they? Where are we? The very few clubs in the world. The funny thing is, what, what if we can't find it? So where is this allegedly? Uh, Legends section. This is a space on the Blogonis website. Uh, we're up, uh, up to under two players who pass through their squad are highlighted. I've been to it before when I was making a Kovacic video. You haven't verified the... No, I mean, no, there's multiple articles about it. I just want to see it with my own eyes. And I've been to the legend section on Barcelona's website before, so I know it exists. So it's club history. Club history. Legendary players. There we go. He's literally in a front line. There's 102 players on the freaking list. He's on the top line. Martian, thank you for the tier one, dude. Literally top row. At least, I mean, I, I guess if you're doing this, you're not really trying to hide your disdain. How dare this woman get assaulted by Danny Alves to ruin such a great right back. Oh, the audacity. Ah, oh, the presumptuous nature. Actually ahead of Lionel Messi on the club website right now. I don't know. I don't know if the order is just random. Like, let's read. It's not. And it's not like alphabetical either. It's about Xavi and Yesta Suarez and Messi. My appearances? I don't think Jordi Alba is the appearance leader. Is it? Who, oh, wait, it is recency. Thank you. Okay. It's who most recently left the club. That is That is true. Yep. It's by date that left. Freaking insane. Do they mention it? Football fans will never forget his raids down the right-hand side. Yeah, I know somebody else is never going to forget his freaking raids. Wreaking havoc on opposing defenses. Huh. But this is like, this is one of the worst things I've ever seen. What is going on in Spain, dude? What is going on in Spain? Somebody freaking tell me. I mean, you've got Javier Tebas as the head of La Liga is coming out, talking about how he wants Mason Greenwood to stay in Spain. Like, you got Barcelona adding Danny Alves back to their legend section after he got convicted. They removed him from the legend section when he got charged and added him back after he got convicted. That is the opposite of how it could, like, of what would logically make sense if you were really trying to defend him. Like, I know Javier Tebas is crazy. That dude's off his right. He's. He's honestly like the counterweight to Florentino Perez, Javier Tebas says. He's the head of La Liga. Joshua, thank you so much for five more gifted subs, dude. That is 15 gifted subs. I really appreciate it. There's always Figo on the list. Uh, wouldn't he be? He would have already happened. I don't think Luis Figo is on the list.
They need to be hacked. Dude, no, I mean, this is like Barcelona just added a dude convicted of sexual assault to their legends section. A man who is currently in jail. It defies a man. Like, I don't know who's in charge of that. But that's just insane. I can't believe it's real. And I'm looking right at it. Sorry, Henry. I'll go back to it. Blues, thank you for the five gifted subs, dude. Wow. Joshua, thank you for the 15 gifted subs. Doomsage, thank you for the 10 gifted subs. Blues, thank you for the five gifted subs. Just handing out ad-free experience, emotes, bacon to everybody that you can find. Thank you for sharing, sharing some kindness. The world clearly needs it. That is just insane, man. This is this is insane. Let me go back and uh, Corval, thank you for the eighteen months, brother. Ultima Big Truck, thank you for the twenty nine. Banksy, thank you so much for the four months. I appreciate you supporting the stream. How many tentacles does it take to make an octopus laugh? Ten, ten tickles. That's a B plus. That's a B plus for me. That was NJBH. That's a B plus for me. And then to Henry said, uh, dogs can't operate MRI machines, but cats can. That's a classic. I got to give it a B because I've heard it a lot, but it is a classic. It's good. I, I I feel like when people do stuff like this, they don't actually think about what they're doing, about like what they're endorsing. Like there's no way they do. They just do it because they don't want to let like cancel culture like keep them down. You know what I mean? They'll do it. I mean, that's at least the counter argument you see a lot of times in like internet situations like that. Like, oh, we don't, you know, we, we support our guy. We don't want to. Dude, it's not cancel culture. It's literally the law. He's not getting canceled for eating a hamburger during Vegan Awareness Month. All right. This guy broke the law belligerently and was convicted of it. Any publicity is good. Polit like, what are they going to monetize people caring about? Um, <laughs> what are they, they going to monetize that nonsense? How? Ronald Ronaldinho was in jail, bro. Who cares? Yeah, Ronaldinho got arrested for using the wrong passport, bro. That's like apples to donkeys. Are you kidding me? Using the wrong passport to try and cross a border and ending up in, like, whatever it was, Peruvian jail for a month is one thing, right? Going to jail for five years for sexually assaulting someone, that's over here, man. Paraguayan jail, sorry. Somewhere in the middle, like, in the middle there. I mean, that is, you know, that's a different kettle of wax, right? That's a different ball of beeswax right there. Right, but it's fair. I need to draw the distinction there because I was just saying it's because he ended up in prison and Ronaldinho has, has been in prison before. Wait, uh, Barcelona has a Valorant team? Dude, I didn't even know they had a Valorant team. So he said they haven't paid their Valorant team yet. I'm like, I did not know they had a Valorant team. Uh, when do I do a video about the QPR player fracturing a guy's skull and still playing? I, I have no idea what you're talking about. Sounds like something I need to look into. Oh, Ilya's chair. Oh, whoa, 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 Ilya's chair. Oh, we already talked about Ilya's chair. Oh, God, yeah, I'm sorry. I thought you meant frac... 
For some reason, my brain went to fracturing some dude's skull on the field. Oh, we, we yeah, we talked about Ilya's chair on stream. No, I, I am familiar with um, the Ilias chair situation. We went down that rabbit hole a little while ago. We went down that rabbit hole a little while ago, the Ilias chair rabbit hole. It's freaking weird. That dude was on the Morocco national team at the World Cup. And he was currently, he was like on trial for assaulting a dude to the point of near death. Did I promote player manager yet? I did. Well, not on stream. Nobody here has any idea what that is. But I am in a new podcast chat. I am in a new podcast with a professional athlete named Julian Gressel, who quite literally plays with Lionel Messi. And the first podcast episode came out this morning. So 85 hours once this, you know, once the stream's over in 85 hours. Um you can check out episode one of the podcast. It's called Player Manager, uh, yeah, for obvious reasons. And it's uh, the, the the first podcast is essentially just me sitting there like, so what's it like to play with Messi for an hour? So that it, it's out on all your normal podcast uh, avenues. So definitely, you know, add that to. I don't really know how it works, but add it to your <laughs> library or whatever. Gressel's a great guy. He's he's a fantastic guy. The opposite of Quincy Probes. <laughs> like that transition? No, but it's a cool podcast. I had a lot of fun. We've been talking about doing it for a while. I'm honored that he wants to do a podcast with me. I mean, the dude's won multiple MLS Cups. He's played for the U.S. national team. And he now plays with Lionel Messi. What's the song? I can't remember. Do you want to make me say it out loud? Just said exclamation point song, dude. <laughs> Player manager is a fave game of mine as a kid. Got my hopes up for a moment. Oh, I didn't mean to scare you. I mean to scare you. Yes. No, he's had a great career. Still, obviously still playing. Hoping maybe he can make the Copa America roster for this summer for the United States. But he is, he literally, like, if you look at Inter Miami's um, graphics, it's so it blows my mind that I'm like I like have this guy's phone number and we like have hung out. But if you look at their lineup graphics, like where's their lineup graphic? It, it cracks me up every time because it's literally Lionel Messi, my friend, Lionel, <laughs> Lionel Messi, the dude I am acquainted with, Lionel Messi, the dude I talk. They're <laughs> they're right next to each other. Trenton, thank you for the two months, dude. I appreciate you supporting the stream. One, literally one. He's sandwiched between Luis Suarez, Lionel Messi, Sergio Busquets, and DeAndre Edlin. Sandwiched. You know who he said? He says this in the podcast, but I'm just going to spoil it for you. You know who he said? Guess which one. Of Alba, Busquets, Suarez, or Messi plays football manager on their iPad all the time. Guess which one? From Alba, Busquets, Suarez, or Messi? Who crushes football manager on their iPad? Who absolutely obliterates football manager on their iPad? The answer... He is a Luis Suarez. Apparently that dude plays a ton, like, like to pro on his way to practice, on his way to games. Luis Suarez plays a ton of football manager. He said he he like Julian said he's, he's been playing football manager all the time. Am I getting it for episode two? No, look, I mean the podcast is me and and it's Julian and I, right? We could have other people on, obviously. But the podcast is Julian and I talking about playing, you know, being a professional player, playing for Inter Miami with Lionel Messi and that experience, and also just talking about like other stuff going on in the world of football slash soccer. Zealand fixes Luis Suarez stream with yeah, no, for real, I'm there, I'm there. No, but it it, it just 
like sit and hang out with a guy like Julian and be like, yeah, he goes to practice and is in a square with Busquets, Suarez, and Messi. You're just like, that is so absurd. That blows my mind. Uh, there will be a video version at some point. Right now, it's just audio. This is really a demo recording. We're still trying to figure out what we want to do with the podcast fully. It's just a demo recording, but the link to uh, the link to the podcast is also below the tweet if you can't find it by just searching player manager. But it is on Spotify. We'll go find it right now. I haven't really looked at the page yet because it just started today, uh, which is understandably why it's difficult to find. Oh, I forget hate Spotify, dude. Player manager is Zealand. Hey, there it is. <laughs> I'm going to add that to my favorites. Oh, you want to know something interesting? I actually didn't realize this when I was talking to Julian because I was like, I asked him about the play where Lionel Messi dribbles it over like the guy on the ground. Can't find his own podcast? No, for real. Could not find my... It, it, the guy... So there's a producer that put us together. We're like an industry band. And I was very flattered because he got in touch with me and he was like, hey, Julian wants to do a podcast about like what it's like to play at Inter Miami and just like football in general. And, you know, we think you'd be a great person to co-host the podcast. And I was like, is this spam? Are you trying to get my social security number? And he was like, nah, dude, this is legit. And I was like, oh, okay. Don't tell us everything to the podcast is like over an hour. I'm not, I can't, I can't tell you everything. All right. But is it going to be weekly? Yeah. The idea is it's going to be weekly. So he's like an actual producer and he's, you know, we're, we, we did, we recorded this first episode as kind of like a demo so that, um, I, you know, podcast networks or whoever, you know, people that actually help put together productions for like real serious podcasts, I uh, would have something to look at and, and want to work with us in the future. But it was it was really cool. We did a video of me teaching Suarez FM. This is legit. That's true. This is legit is what a scammer would say. That is what a scammer would say. I thought you somehow did a podcast with Julian Alvarez. No. But Julian Gressel has played for the U.S. national team. Which is just really cool. Hey, uh, Brooks and a donut. Thank you for the 14 months. Lucum, thank you for the eight months. Don't just don't spurs it. Dude, you got it. I'm all over it. Trenton, thank you for the two months. Good old Jeffy B getting you that ad free experience for another month. I, you know, I appreciate it. And Rainstorm, thank you for the emote spam. I appreciate the 17 months. I'll believe it's weekly when it happens. Hey. All you need to know is this is the first time I've been involved in a podcast that had an actual producer, which means it's much more likely I will actually be doing it weekly. I asked him about, no, I didn't. We, all we did was talk about, well, we talked about a lot of stuff. But we talked about, like, you know, what do you do? Like, what's your first reaction when you realize you're going to be playing with Messi? And his answer to that was just hilarious. And, like, what was your first interaction with, like, Sergio Busquets? Like, that, that's the kind of stuff we talked about. I mean, I was really just fanboying the whole time. I'm just sitting there like, what happened? Why? Tell me everything. Like, come on. Hope I'm feeling better? Yeah, dude. Just needed some sleep, which I didn't get. But I, you know, <laughs> I am feeling better. What are your Julian stats at FM? I don't know. He's like my age, so I, which is always another one to make me feel old. So he's now a coach. Must be said, he's now a terrifically awful coach. Oh, he stayed at Columbus Crew for the rest of his career. He won an MLS Cup at Columbus Crew, and then Miami signed him to get like good MLS experience into the team. He's like a box to box kind of midfielder, outside midfielder. For those that are not familiar with Julian Gressel's game, but they actually made him. And this is true, the worst coach of all time. He also got zero more U.S. caps. 
What do I think about proms being arrested in Dubai? Can't cure stupid, man. You cannot cure stupid. That Those are my thoughts. Quincy proms had somehow managed to get away with smuggling a metric ton of drugs into the Netherlands by and like stabbing his brother by disappearing in into the Russian league only for him to pop up in Dubai and get in a hit and run accident so that he gets arrested a country that the Netherlands has an extradition treaty with just the dumbest thing like that none no part of that sentence sounded real but how do you put yourself like you somehow managed to escape justice by going to play in the Russian league and Russia was like, yeah, we'll hang on to you. And then you're like, nah, I got to go party in the UAE. Even that I'm going to get in a hit and run accident and get caught. Just, I mean, it sounds like the plot of some sort of TV show. Like there's no way this would actually happen to the dude. How long is his sentence? Well, I don't, I don't remember. A while. I mean, it was a it was a comedic amount of drugs. It was like it was it was that for those this dude's like a fringe Dutch national team player. Six years, six year prison sentence in absentia for trafficking cocaine. <laughs> Where's the amount? It was a hilariously large amount. The Netherlands is not handing out six-year prison sentences lightly, especially at one point he had a transfer value of $26 million. One thousand three hundred sixty kilograms, bro. Bro, that's three thousand pounds this is narcos level nonsense right it's three thousand pounds of cocaine dude that he got around that's insane how where what is he driving a freaking 18 wheeler over the dutch border he made el chapel look like a noob Bassy, thank you for the prime, dude. Thank you for supporting the stream. Chubas, thank you for the 10 months. Brother, I appreciate the support. Enjoy the ad-free experience. Like, I <laughs> I mean, it was. I mean, th oh, this dude clearly just has some issues, right? But I, you got to do, you have to do some work, right? To end up with, you know, this isn't like Paul McCartney getting arrested somewhere for like, a pocket amount of weed here that we're, that we're talking about somebody driving. I mean, how God, I don't want this in my search history, but how much for, for science, for the investigative journalist sense, I'm just curious. <laughs> wait, no, wait, no, sorry, FBI. I didn't mean it. It's asking me for my location, dude. I didn't, I, no, I, I, my, uh, my nephew took the keyboard and he's playing, uh, GTA six. He's playing GTA. I literally Googled how much is cocaine per pound because we're researching Quincy probs and it literally went, Hey, let Google use your device's precise location. Dude, that I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That is too convenient that to be just a coincidence. <laughs> That's definitely like built into Google. That's going to be a hard no. You wouldn't understand. This is for science. Sure. Zinnia health. I'm just going to go with whatever you're telling me. So it's 13,000 to 26,000 per kilogram. We're talking about, somebody says it's like $100 million. So that's times, let's just take the middle of that and go with, you know, 19,000. Dear Lord, we're talking about 25 Based off U.S. street prices, we're talking about $26 million.
Then swatting yourself is crazy. I know. I knew what I was Googling and I'm like, this is just not a great thing to have on the search history. But like, I kind of want to know how much money Quincy Prums was hauling. You know what the irony is? And just that one shipment that he was hauling over the border, he was carrying the highest transfer value that he ever had on transfer marked. There's almost a beautiful, uh, a beautiful confluence there, you know? It literally says in the article, wait, really? Oh, no. He did it for the meme. He was like, yeah, dude, I'm going to buy myself. I'm going to free myself from the bonds of society. You know, it's crazy. The authorities seized 22,000 kilograms of the drug. In the first half of 2022, Quincy Proms was a significant percentage of that. We've seen times like 4%. I hate math. Yeah, you're right. It's the other freaking direction. Damn it. I realized it was wrong when I um looked at it. I saw I saw the truth. Six percent. So I wasn't that far off. I said four percent based off the way the other number came back. Six percent of their entire haul was from a, prof- a high-level professional footballer <laughs> trying to smuggle 3,000 pounds of cocaine. This is... This might be one of the funniest starts to this. Like, sad for humanity, but the absurdity we've witnessed in the first 40 minutes of this stream. From Quincy Probes hauling 3,000 pounds of drugs and then getting arrested anyways because of a hit-and-run incident in the UAE, even though he'd managed to get away with it by like ferreting away in Russia. And then you had Barcelona adding a convicted, like, serious criminal, Danny Alves, back to their Legends page. Riley, thank you for the 20. Dude, with the tier three, Riley. With the tier three. For 28 months. Oh, thank you for supporting the stream, dude. That is, that's massive. That's very kind of you. Oh, and I announced a podcast in between those two stories. Promise the podcast doesn't have anything to do with either of those things. I thought it was his brother. I guess it was his cousin. Yeah, Quincy Proms has some serious issues. And fortunately for society, it seems he will finally end up in jail. As he has already been convicted in absentia. So he is a convicted drug smuggler. Also noted footballer. Actual GTA 6 vibes. They thought he was in a dream. He's like, wait, this isn't Grand Theft Auto? Oh, dude. Yeah, Ronaldinho's on the legend page. It'd be kind of hilarious if they didn't put Ronaldinho on the legend page, but they put Danny Alves on the legend page. Bob Manuel, thank you for the 33 months, brother.
Wait, did they add him back? Dude, we've been staring at it all morning. I don't believe it. But Bob, thank you for the 33 months. We've been staring at it all morning. It's one of the most, I mean, all jokes aside, one of the most absurd, like, the word's hugely overused, but I believe that it is entirely appropriate here. This is a wildly offensive thing to do. Just to... Just very... It's an insensitive thing to do. I think it's detrimental just to literally everything. Whatever the opposite of covering yourselves in glory is, that's that's what that is. I weep for humanity. Anytime Barca ever tries to stand in a soapbox, just like drenching yourself in shame. They're drowning in shame, dude. At that point, you're just drowning in the shame. That's brutal. I think they thought they could secretly add him back after they removed him, which makes no sense because you think like the point of a legend section is for people to look at it. There's no sneaking somebody back onto the legend section when the only reason it exists is so people look at it. Are we finishing the season today? Perhaps. Perhaps we might be. We also start the stream, uh, you know, we start the <laughs> the matches on stream away against Man uh, Manchester City. So we might just end the stream after that, depending on how it goes. But we did just win away against Newcastle, so we are in a decent spot. We have climbed, obviously, we took the team over when they were in 11th. We've climbed up to 7th. We are still very much alive for Champions League spot, alive for Europa League. I think actually winning the league is a bit out of reach. We are nine points off, even if we win our match in hand. Uh, of a rampant Manchester United led by Marco Rose, the RB Leipzig coach, who have not won the league. It has been Liverpool, then City twice, then Arsenal three times under Mikel Arteta. He was no, he was replaced to start this season by Pep Guardiola, who's promptly crashed and burned uh, in his four points off United. Battenberg, thank you for the 34 months, dude. I appreciate it. Look, I'm not... Look, I know some Spanish people that are great, so do not take like Barcelona and, and paint all of Spain with the brush of the club being awful. I am always of the belief that the vast majority of people in every place are decent people doing decent stuff, just trying to get by. And I, I don't like painting with the really broad brush, but Bournemouth are massive. Dude, clearly they're in fifth place. They are a point out of champions league. They are, Running away from us, their goal difference is the second best of any team in the Premier League, which is insane. Spanish top officials I'm in? Oh, clearly they got a problem. You got Luis Rubiales, who's been suspended for years for just being a giant weirdo. You've got Javier Tebas coming out and saying that he's, he wants Mason Greenwood to stay in Spain. You know, there's a lot of weird stuff popping out between, like, for, you know, Spanish football at the very top and just like women. Like <laughs> they seem to really, and they just won the world cup too, which makes it so much worse. They still have Alex Scott. I actually don't know who's on the team at all. We've played them obviously, but Oh, they do have the rampant Paul McIntosh, the incredibly fast young English guy. They've got a dude named Gruff Barry who doesn't look particularly good. Zlatan, okay, they suck. I don't know what. No way. They're bad. Their coach deserves a giant raise. They do have one very good player, fullback Milos Kerkez. Guy looks like Erling Holland's half-brother. They've got Myron Van der Okay, these guys are better. They've got some guys that, you know, that are better. Obviously, Tyler Adams is an ideal work rate toughness. 
defensive midfielder. Igbo Ogbo. Okay, but I mean, they're a mid-table Premier League team. It's what they look like to me. They got a couple of dudes that can ball, but they, they look like a mid-table team. Karen Tall's good. He's at a release clause of $74 million, which is just high enough that you don't want to sign him, but very competent. Oh, the Kyle Samuel. It was funny. I looked at the team that they had, and I just clicked on all the wrong people. I was like, these guys suck. Like, Kashevich is just not... I, Evan Gasson, the striker we had in the second division of France, is legitimately better than this guy. Fenton, thank you for gifting Feja a sub, dude. Holy shoot. And Damien, thank you for the 100 bits. Finally got the Netherlands job in my save. Nice. Don't bring in Quincy Proms, dude. Don't bring in Quincy Proms. What happened to Alex Scott? I actually have no idea. Okay, I was like, are we playing Manchester City right now? Or no, we just drew the World Cup, I think. We just had the World Cup draw, and that's where we ended yesterday. So We have, oh, let me see if I can remember. We have New Zealand, Poland. Oh, who's the third team? With the U.S. this summer, we have New Zealand, we have Poland, we have... Who is it? Did I lose? No, I drew Poland in a friendly in... Uh, oh, I have a draw press conference. Sick. This will tell me. Cameroon. I think the level of excitement just went up. You know, a uh, competition being held in Turkey, your teams will be playing. You'll be playing in a familiar climate. I mean, the United States includes Maine and Texas. I think we'll be able to figure, you know, there's going to be somebody from a familiar climate no matter what. Uh, I don't think it's a big issue either way. New Zealand are a bit of an unknown quantity by comparison to the other teams. How much do I know about them? Uh, I'm clued up about them. They're a good team and wouldn't be here if they didn't deserve to be. Having been drawn against Cameroon, New Zealand, and Poland, will you be seeking pre-tournament friendlies against similar opposition? They'll certainly be considering it. Uh, the draw for the World Cup. Yeah, you already told us that. There's no easy game in international football uh, anymore. I'm going to study our opponent. No, look, just, Matt, from the American Soccer Post, calm down, Matt. I'm not going to diss Cameroon by saying Poland's the best team in the group. I don't want to provide any bulletin board material. All right. Sorry, there's a hole in my um, my bag of peanuts. Some spilling peanut nonsense all over the table. Is the World Cup this summer? Yes, because it's uh, 2030. That's World Cup year. Liverpool won again. Yeah, well, nobody cares. Uh, oh, they beat Manchester United. That actually opens up. The opportunity for us to gain some points on the top of the league. Not like I'm paying attention, though. Hello, Manchester City. I should go get a different goalkeeper. Kilman Kelleher is not cleared to play, which is deeply unfortunate. Fortunately, I have some dude named Branson I can bring up to the first team. Hello, Branson. The hell did he just go? Oh, he's right there. Don't mind me, just hallucinating. All right, Branson, you are the backup goalkeeper today because Kelleher has not fully recovered from whatever trauma he's endured. All right, Zanini, Kulazevsky, Seca, Guerra, Indrik, Bissuma, Van Deven, Inacio, Romero, Lewis, 
Sec is not fit and neither is Constantelius. That makes me so sad. Everybody else all right or uh, or no? Are we? What do you mean Constantelius isn't fit, right? That guy, come on, come on. Come on, that guy is the bee's knees, right? I'd love to get my best players on the field, but also... Where's Eberts? Has anybody seen Eberts? Thank you. I need, I need an extra defensive midfield sub just in case. This is going to be a little tricky. This is going to be a little uh, complicated. What do, you think? what do you guys think? Do we start Seca? We've got Liverpool at home in a couple of days. I think no. I think we don't start Seca. I think in a very weird move, I think we actually rotate a little bit. You know, because why not do that against... Um, why not do that against Manchester City? So I'm going to go with Pape Matarsar, who's going to start. Guerra's going to be the playmaker. Lee Kong-in is going to be the shadow striker after his amazing performance last time, which we loved. Then three days off, then Liverpool, then three days off, then Coventry, then three days off, then Lons. So we want to get our full first team on the field against Liverpool. Not against Coventry and then against Laws in the Europa League quarterfinal. So we do need to rotate a little, just a, eh, that much in this game. Romero's out for Ashley Phillips as well. I might live to regret that decision massively, but we're going to give it a shot. Ashley Phillips just got a cap for the freaking English national team. He can't be that bad. He's not. He's not that bad. Hello, Manchester City. I'm looking to play anti-football and bleed the clock of this game. Contact center girl. Thank you for the 10 gifted subs. Holy cheddar. 10 gifted subs from contact center girl. Given 10 people the ad-free experience, bacon emotes they can get in the sub section. If you got one of those, be sure to say thank you. And thank you, Contact Center Girl, for what is 328 career gifted subs. That's like really, really impressively incredible. Tommy Yasu's at City? Obviously. Nobody ever leaves the Prem, they just bounce around. All right, boyos, away against Manchester City. This is. Uh this is where that anti-football philosophy that we have been developing, this is where that comes in handy, all right? Everybody nod with me. Yes, this is what we're doing. Tottenham Altspur, we control the match. We find our goal on the counter. We gain a match on Manchester City. Please and thank you. Jay Nels, thank you for the 10 months, dude. I appreciate it. Ryder, thank you for the three months. Aroma walks into a bar, holds up two fingers, the bartender, and says, I'll have five beers, please. I love that one. If you get it, you get it. If you don't get it, you don't get it. Rafaz, thank you for the nine months and the prime. Thank you guys for supporting the stream. Congrats on your Twitch child, Rafaz. Name carefully. Oh, can we score early? That would be so ideal. Gera, maybe not. But Eves Basuma is always there. Pape Matarsar. Guerra! Yo, he was off. No, the flag is up and he did not look off at all. He's off. But he, uh, ooh. That hurts. Oh. I don't know, man. With that lean, I think the 3D match engine might be uh, in conflict with the 2D. <clears throat> they looked uh, looked uh, pretty inside me. That was very close. And that's real unfortunate that you felt the need to, to call that. Oh, goodness, it's Holland. 
What even is that goal, dude? The residual play after a corner? I've never seen a goal that looked like that. Eves, thank you for the seven months. Thank you so much for supporting the stream. Ugh. Camavinga's dropped an absolute dime there. Well, we were down 1-0 at Newcastle. We came back and won. We know we can do it. That is... Oh, I thought he hit that to the other team. Never mind. That's a... Oh, Zanini. Good God, man. It's like he held the dummy on accident. Shoot it. I can live with Tomoyasu from there. That's what this tactic's designed to do. Not give Erling Holland a free header at the back post. Did Bournemouth get a Saudi takeover? I uh, know. They just have that Premier League money. Holland was offside? That's weird. All right, guys. We got to stay. We got to stay focused here. We got to keep the energy up. We got to believe we are still in this game because we had a pretty good start. Oh, play it short. We might be on here. Now we're definitely not. That wasn't deflected. Excellent. What a hit by Lee Kong In. Not like he's the uh, problem. A lot of guys are struggling to perform in this match. We've got some frustration. Ashley Phillips is anxious. I mean, honestly, you were kind of fine. Everybody got beat by that Camavinga cross. All right, I'm going to emphasize possession, and then we are going to go lower tempo and look to hold the ball more. Try and frustrate Manchester City just a little bit. Because obviously we start in a very direct mindset in this tactic. Very, very quick back to front sort of situation. But now, now I'm thinking maybe we, we look to have the ball a bit more. Use our quality midfield. We don't quite have the same level of midfield as normal without Bellarmino Seca. Which means Papa Matsar Sars out there, but it's not like he's bad. The only reason I don't like uh, Sar is because of how much we're paying him. It's not because he's a bad player. All right. Way to contest. Just don't want to give them the free header. The key is getting stuck in and battling, man. That is the key. We got to keep battling. Where's Coyote? We're going to let the feedback go. Rico just picked up a knock. We have uh, a wall of subs that we want to make. Probably shift into something a bit more aggressive. Perhaps. I know it's a bit early. Nah, it is a bit early, but we'll make those substitutions with that in mind. So Hendrick's been bad. Lee kong has been bad. Uh, Javi Guerra has not played a particularly storming game. So we'll look at Bellarmino Seca. He's feeling motivated today. So we do have the personnel available to do what we want to do. And then, of course, Rico Lewis picked up a bit of a knock. So we're going to go with Michael Coyote. And that is it for now. I would love to score out of this in the next 15 minutes. If not, maybe the next 10. If not, we will we will change. We'll expose our back line a lot more, but we're we're gonna go for it. Shoot it. Thank you. They've got Tomiyasu getting in a lot of shooting positions, dude. Do negative tactics work in FM? Yes, they can. It's just a lot easier to sign better players, be better than the team you're playing against, and just run a gag and press, though. I mean, that, that's why so many people do it. I mean, that that is. You know, if you're the better team, that's really what you want to be doing. And so that part can be very easy. So we're going to go attacking. We are shifting into our very aggressive tactic. We've got some players that are struggling to meet the pace of the match. Eves Basuma is just struggling in general. Oh, let's go, Sar. Just kidding. That was a joke that I said out loud. I liked the, uh, like, if that pass had worked, I would have liked it. But it didn't because it was a bad pass. There you go, Ashley Phillips. Way to send him back. Oh, my. 
I thought that was about to sneak in the goal, too. It's like, come on. Come on, lads. All right, Yanis Constantelius is going to come into the game. Papa Metzar Star is going to drop back. Uh, Vittorio Zanini, you're just going to have to play out the rest of this match. I'm sorry. We do have Step Up more on, which is great. Yanis Constantelius just gives us that it factor. The man is a walking it factor. Let's go, boys. Let's make it happen right here. Sar, good spot. Oh, Yanis Constantelius. Ref. I mean, re ref. Oh! Why, ya? Uh... Well, that's Santiago Jimenez with a uh, a through ball and on goal from the other team that we just blew. Inacio, Constantel, good, wide, yes. Coyote, play it. Oh, uh, it's a bit behind him, but Dayon's gonna make the most of it. Oh, Dayon, Constantelius, saved right corner, good. Let's keep going. Let's keep it going. We love Yanis Constant. Oh, that's it. Oh, not an Osseo. And then we just leave Erling Holland. Good thing he's easy to catch, right? Yo, Ashley. Who was that? that freaking Kyote. That was a big time tackle. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do
All right, well, we lost away to Manchester City. I, obviously, there's not a ton of shame in that, but we have a real draw as a win mentality in those types of matches, so disappointed that, yeah, you've out, I mean, how are you going to end your goal drought when somebody literally passes you in on goal and you still can't score it? You got any secret, you know, secret tips for how to end the goal drought in that situation, big die? No? Okay. Yeah, I, that, that was the Zinedine Zidane signing for a club record $73 million at the time. It was Santiago Jimenez, who's had some good moments this year. I would not count that match as one of them. Would not. Well, that guy's getting paid literally all the money in the world, so. Divine Wrench. Yeah, he's great, but you really don't want to run into his brother unholy. Sometimes I'm in the middle of the joke and I'm like, why? You could stop at any time. I could stop at any time. I'm making that. Yay, Bournemouth lost. That's awesome. Like, we're just battling for every point we can get. Away against Manchester City, no dice at home against Liverpool. We're looking for some dice, baby. I think this is our match in hand, too. So we're getting a nice midweek Premier League match in between our uh, European contests. Oh, this is where I live. No way Stoyan Alexov is number two. The guy we signed at St. Etienne is the number two wonder kid in the world. I guess he's starting every match in Ligue 1 now. For St. Etienne, who are in eighth. So we did not lead the club in a bad space. St. Etienne is very much competing for European places, tied on points with Lille. I'm proud of my team. You know, I we left them in a, we left them in a very good spot. They did get eliminated by PSG in the Coupe de France, but no shame in that. Won four of their last five Ligue 1 matches. Got things rolling now. Coupe de France and Champions League are over. They're, they're playing their game. But they did lose to Lille in a massive six-pointer, but good efforts from St. Etienne, and they've got the second-best wonder kid in the world, but this is my Christmas. All right, Paul McIntosh is at Bournemouth. We already know that. Renai. Yeah, but he has an Italy cap. I feel like I do know this guy, and I know that he is not at Blackburn. Pause. Simasek, uh, Sima, uh, Simacek, Simacek. Hey, they got another burger, Christian burger. Rajevic, Vittoria Gimareyes player from Bosnia and Herzegovina. Now, there's a dude still hanging out in the Czech League that might be very good. I'm looking at 13 to 20 acceleration and 12 to 20 strength. And I'm thinking, you know what, Jan? We might be having a conversation soon. You and I, phone call. Oh, dude, they got... My signings at St. Etienne were so good. I signed this guy for St. Etienne for half a million and then left like a month later. And even though he hasn't played that much, he's valued 48 to 56 million and considered a top 50 wonder kid in the world. They, they're they really just putting guys on the wonder kid list because I signed them. That's my theory. Ricardo's about to get relegated, so that guy might be a, a real nice target. This guy's actually good. Liverpool's undervaluing him, which the fact that they're undervaluing him probably means he's not that good. 17-year-old in the Mexican League. We'll see if those attributes have changed, brother. Hudson's on loan from Aston Villa. Well, he's not that good. Kirschbaum at Hoffenheim. Keita. Kaita. We're looking for the guys in smaller leagues, not the Sergio Luis guy that I tried and failed to sign because that just makes me sad. We don't want to see that. Castells, no. 
Zinel, oh, 17 year old Pole who's already made it into the Polish national team. I'm sorry. I'm immediately prioritizing that guy. A 17 year old Polish player who has already made it into the Polish national team and scored, by the way. Didn't just make it, he also scored. Flores plays for, oh, he's on loan from Liverpool. All right, Liverpool, you're hoarding a little bit. I see you. I see you. Thought I knew how good Naldo was. All right, Sharif. Hello. All right. Osnabrooks Markovic. Okay, that dude is bad. He's very bad. Now, when you tell me 17-year-old on Porto, you get my attention. 17-year-old on Sporting, you get my attention. 17-year-old on Villarreal from Peru, attention acquired. Englishman playing for Valenciennes on loan from Southampton. Fair. Liverpool's got another Japanese dude, too. This sucks. <laughs> Calvin. There we go. There's... Oh! Oh! <laughs> Oh my God. He has 70 to 20 acceleration. And he's only 19 years old. Not ah, immediate priority. <laughs> the man is very fast. Andreas Kolbeinsvik, of course, from Thailand. What's his, uh, or like, he was born in Thailand. He is also unsurprisingly Norwegian, but he is Thai. All right. Dude's playing at NYCFC legitimately, which is always nice. All Turkey. Nah, silly, you're in the wrong country. You're some, you're in Saudi Arabia, dude. You gotta get, you gotta go back home. Uh, Wagane gay. Nice. This dude, Antonio Weslam Kofi, Tarnstrom. He looks pretty good. I do uh, that Brazilian. I know I say that a lot. Everybody that it's ever played this game says that a lot, but that Brazilian. Ameka Okiri. Nice. Kabore. Adenier. Ooh, ooh, there's some, there's some, some pace in those boots and another Greek Thomas Apostolou. Dude, we need more Greeks. We already have a bunch of Greek name dudes. Wow, I'm excited about those guys. Holy smokes, I'm excited about those guys. He doesn't look Thai? Well, he's Norwegian. I mean, his name is like Mansvik or whatever. But he was born in Thailand. Maybe they were on vacation. I don't know. All I know is that the new gen face pack did appropriately assign him the right face. Yeah, he's got nine caps for Thailand. He's clearly like Thai. Just an update on the uh, the U.S. national team pool there. Freaking Liverpool, man. Freaking Liverpool. Oh, yeah, wait, hold on. Where's uh, Zanini? You and Mickey Vandeven are resting from training for the next three days. You got it? Good. I need you friggin' ready for the Liverpool match. If I can, if I, if we can do that. Dombamini, thank you for the six months, dude. They said the center back from St. Etienne might be cheaper or unsettled if uh, St. Etienne doesn't make Europe. Yeah, well, we do have them on our short list already, so we'll be made aware of any movements. I'm assuming he loves me as a coach because I'm the one that I brought him into the spotlight, you know? Oh, yeah. Leadership support in the green. Miles Lewis Skelly. Aldair Cortina. 
Will Sinoto Bear, ah, it's so nice to see you after that massive decision-making process we had to go through around you. We are now well ahead of you. Raul Bellanova. Ah. John Paul Van... What the heck? Andy Brooks. See, he, uh... Oh, he's fullback. Okay. Just updating our shortlist. Finally, our shortlists are starting to update. I think I just shook them enough that I shook off whatever cobwebs were around. Arsenal with a big win, and the title race tightens up here. We saw the opportunity to get within nine points with eight matches left. You never know what's going to happen. And I really want to win this match. I really want to win this match against Liverpool. I think this is our match in hand. I think this is where teams are catching up finally. Does he have you set his favorite personnel? I don't know. I, I, haven't, I haven't looked. Tottenham taking on Liverpool. Udogie demands more. From Jimenez. Wow, he's demanding more from my striker. That is intense. The low level of general team training. Dude, we've been training our butt off. Are you kidding me? We, I, uh, that was like the only time I've thrown in, in rest, but thank you. I appreciate that. All right, let's try to get a new contract done for Basuma. Yo, brother, that ain't it, dude. That ain't it. 14 million a year, Eves. I realize I got to play at like a nice premium for your incredible experience to be around our team. Sam, I am making progress. Sam, I'm making progress. I'm making progress all day, Sam. This is a, for the, for those that are going, that's a crazy wage. This is a cut. This cuts his wage in half for this year and next year. And then if he plays 30 league matches, he extends his contract for one more season, which he just won't next year. Yeah, but that is, uh, I think we want to keep Eves Basuma around for one more year. He's not deteriorating very quickly and he's still a very steady hand in that defensive midfield spot. But look at what he's getting paid now. His base salary is freaking 18 million a year. He's 5% of our entire club payroll. That's an impact of over 20 million on the uh on the wage budget. We're cutting that impact down considerably. Which is nice, but No, he's still he'll be a good player for another year. We want to keep him around. We don't want to let him hit that one month to go in the season and it's a free for all trying to get his signature, but it is, uh, it is tricky. Because, you know, I don't like keeping a 34-year-old around. So Dan was an imposter. No, I mean, look, that was probably one of those, like, five-year contracts where he was going to be a star. And he's 33, so he's just hitting the end of that. And he's been a good player. I, I always like him. I'm sure he's been a good player with the team for a long time. It's just. It is now time for him to take a, a smaller contract to help us out. That's going to reduce his impact on the budget by probably like 40%, maybe 45%. Like his total impact on the budget. Those are youth players being released. I am not interested. We develop our own superstars here. Oh, Captain Watterson, thank you so much for the prime, dude. Thank you for supporting the stream. Did I sign Jude at 40, uh, 34? I think maybe with Totten we did, yeah. But Captain Watterson, make sure you get in the subsection of the Discord and enjoy your ad-free experience, courtesy of Jeff Bezos. How is Kelleher still not cleared? The man was not cleared four days ago, and he's coming back from a neck strain. That's another match rolling the dice with my third-string goalkeeper down over here. Javi Guerra's a little injured, so... To drop him for Yanis Constantelius, but Bellarmino Sek is ready to get into the team. Lee Kong In's ready to step out of the team for Kulazevsky. Zanini and Vandevin made it. They're back. Uh, this is a fun team, dude. Do 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 do. So Rico, wow, wow, Rico bounced back from that injury fast. Romero, oh, 
Uh, Romero, even though Ashley Phillips has gained my trust, Romero's still much better. And then Basuma, Sar, Seka, Kulazevsky, Zanini, Endrick. All right, guys, this is survival out here. This is survival. What we are doing is surviving. But it's Liverpool. You know what? Dang it. Who they have? Gakpo, Sobazlai, Nunez. Do we want to come out and play today, chat? Do we want to come out and play? I'm tempted. I'm tempted to come out and play. Let's go uh, positive. We're going to be very sound defensively, but I'm going to go positive. We are Lewis Romero, Inacio Vandeman. We're going to come out and play a little bit. We're not going to come out and play all the way. I'm not going you know, I'm not putting all my chips in the middle. I will go and do all out attack by staying back on defense. Exactly what I was thinking. Now, we've done a very good job of surviving matches against the big six. Very good job. We lost to Liverpool 1-0 at Anfield in the FA Cup fifth round. That was how we got knocked out of that tournament. And that was a very near-run thing. I think we need to be a little more comfortable earlier if things don't go our way of, of getting forward, of switching into that more aggressive tactic, trying to catch teams unaware. We win this match, we could pull ourselves up into sixth level on points with Bournemouth, two points off Newcastle for a spot in the top four. And keep a faint hope of a title race alive if we can string a few wins together. But that was a bitter pill to swallow at Manchester City our last time out. Oh, easy, easy. No, what? That was the first play of the game. Surely not. Surely it's just, he's just, it's a bump and a bruise. He's fine. All right. I have to wait for the trainer to run all the way across the field to tell me he's fine. I mean, I'm really happy he's fine, but. Nice. Nice. Hendrick. Way to get that out. Way to get that out. Now we need to get some sort of width. I don't know what we're doing, but it's definitely not a good idea to be doing it. Uh, it, it, it. It's the same thing as Manchester City. We gave up a goal off the long corner because this guy, I mean, Mickey Vandeven just broke. I don't know what he's doing. He's supposed to be closing down Selbaslai. He just doesn't. He runs to the edge of the six yard box and then like lunges back towards him. That's my left back. He's in a perfect position to get out and try and shut this down. He doesn't. Like, I, I don't know what to tell you. It's the second straight match where we've conceded a goal off a long corner. Where, like, we haven't recovered our position after a corner, and then they and then they score. And so, that's just unfortunate. Serena, thank you. Serena, thank you so much for the three months, dude. Don Kishern, thank you for supporting the stream. Auf Wiedersehen. All right, carry. Oh, that's a good pass, actually. Vandeven, oh my goodness, yes, let's go. Let's freaking go, boys. We are so back. We are so utterly back, dude. We've never been more back. We got the goal. We're back in it. Mickey Vandeven, good pass to Zanini. Hits it hard on target. Lucky with it, a giant deflection. We've created a goal-scoring move. That's that's the point. Not a lot of chances in this match in the first 20 minutes. Obviously, us getting cooked by Darwin Nunez up the middle was less than ideal, but 
Oh, let's go, Zanini. What a play. Sar, yes. Endrick. Endrick to Dayon. We got one more. It's Zanini. Should have played that on the ground, man. Tried to get that to Seca because if we get that to Seca's foot, he's scoring. Good, though. Good. Good. Yes. Back in this freaking game, dude. Back in this game. Thank goodness. That was not a good start. <laughs> it was not a, 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 an excellent beginning. Oh, uh, yeah. Good, Rico. Way to, way to force that back. Once they get to a certain point, we've got to be active. Oh, do, 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 do. So he's a Met Sala for sure. Why are we diving there, man? Why are we diving there? I mean, why? We, we, we can't dive there, Romero. He's gone full like Rambo. You cannot dive there. And he's just, he's, I mean, either one of these guys can run into that. Is that bad enough? This tactic sucks now. I've had enough. We're, we're just going after him. I, I've had enough. This tactic is not good anymore. They've walked through us twice. They've scored one goal off it. We, you know, I don't care what opposition instructions we're putting down. For whatever reason, what they're doing, shredding us. Right? They're, they're able to get on either side of our midfielders. They're able to work it side to side. We... Maybe we could go with some really intense closing down and some getting stuck in, but if we're going to do that, let's just go for the gold. Let's just switch to aggressive. Did I just put him on Carlero? Why does it say Carlero on the little mini? He's not a Carlero. The center mid on support. Just felt like that that whole play looked like we had closing down turned all the way up, and we just didn't. That's why you turn closing down off so you don't do that sort of stuff. Show me some better in the second half, boys. Come on. Just getting absolutely walked. There we go. Thank you. That should be our ball. Great composure from Gonzalo Inacio. Zanini is already tired, but he has a good rating. Classic question. Kulazewski on a 6.3. I mean, goodness gracious, at least pretend to be good. At least pretend. For my sanity, pretend to be good, all right? Try. Do your best. They're saying a lot of this is Vicario's fault. I'm going to bring in Javi Guerra. And we are going to start sending it. Everybody cool with that? Lee kong -in, Javi Guerra, you're on the field. Have fun. Oh, let's go. Romero, Guerra. Yeah, it would have been an insane goal. All right, we're going to hit a shout and then make some more subs after it if it doesn't work out. Send it. That ain't good. Was it Vicario? Vicario is all right. He's not amazing at the level that we're at. He is totally serviceable. Wow, this is just not going well. 
Bellarmino Seca, what the hell, man? And Vittorio Zanini. Can we get one decent performance out of one of our good players? Or is that just, you know, that would make things way too easy, right? If we got one decent performance out of the good players on our team. I would I personally would I would hate that. I would hate if that happened. That would be terrible. Maybe then it'll happen. More Jimenez uh, Constantelius are coming in. All right, come on, boys. We'll play it short. Those long balls weren't working last time. Let's find the goal. And then I will leave this on, and we will go for the win. We will go for the pullout here at home. More corner. Let's go. Come on. Come on, guys. We can get this. Back to him. Constantelius. Oh, it's a good angle for a cross. What are we doing? No, good. Why would you ever think that was a good idea, Romero? Oh, Constantius! The flag's up. It was more. It wasn't Constantelius. It was Mikey Moore. Tough loss. That's a tough one. Uh, obviously, City away and Liverpool at home and back to back matches is tough, but that's a tough loss. Got to be able to find a way to win one of those matches. I mean, I know we beat Newcastle away, but. Got to be able to find a way to win one of those one of those matches. Dude, honestly, all of the Tottenham stuff starting to piss me off. Like I'm a uh, weird stay like I I'm going to say this and you're going to be like, "Oh, I guess you'll be there forever." But like we'll probably win the Europa League this year. Like I can't imagine playing or being the manager on Tottenham in real life. Like it is so incessant. It is just so, like, over the top. Like every time we score, like every time we concede a goal, like no other team's ever conceded a goal. It's like, well, that's Tottenham, you know. Like we 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 lose to like Liverpool away, or you know, like City away. As well, you know, that's the history of Tottenham. Like that's the history of like every team for the last seven years. Oh, 
Can we post non-soccer stuff and what's happening? I mean, yeah, if it's like kind of related, then I mean, sure, absolutely send it, dude. I I mean, honestly, I I yeah, if it's something you want me to talk about and want me to check out, then then yeah, you can post it in there. As long as it's not like messed up. No, but it's definitely like all it does is really galvanize me to like actually want to try and stay here until we are because you guys know. If I stay in a place <coughs> for a couple years, we'll start blowing out everybody. And all it, all that really does is like encourage me to be like, yeah, I should stay in this place for a couple of years and just start smacking everyone. Like literally try and win everything out of spite. I'm a vengeful man. I don't like people thinking I can't do something either. I think that's the way my brain is like interpreting all of those messages. It's just like, yeah, people just think you're going to lose. Then you got to be Coventry first. I mean, obviously, it's a one step at a time process. We're in a very significant log jam and we're coming out of playing two very good teams but it was frustrating to not be able to pick up a single point and to hand three point advantages to liverpool and city on us what do you think is the problem with the team all the pieces seem good all the pieces aren't good enough i uh, the team we inherited's budget was way out of whack there are players on the team that I never would have brought in in the first place. Um, yeah, I mean, there are some good pieces, obviously, in this team, but they're not my pieces, right? They're not, you know, they're not built around anything cohesive. We designed specifically that anti-football tactic to survive matches that I don't think we can go out and take. Uh, but there are good players, you know, Seca. Um, there, we'll, we'll we'll show them off in this match. So, Papi Matarsar is going to play the deep position. Constantelius is going to take that position. Kulazevsky had to get subbed out of the last match because how poorly he was playing. So, we're going to get him out there. Mikey Moore is going to be, an, uh, you know, also inverted winger on attack. Uh, we're going to go Coyote playing that right side. Vandevin should be able to play the next two matches. We're going to go Phillips. For Inacio next to Christian Romero so that they'll be ready to go. Uh, we want to like rotate, but not heavily. We you know, we will, we still want to have a very good team on the field. So like Javi Guerra is going to be out there. Uh, the soldier, I got sold. Okay, I need um, a midfielder. So I'm going to go with Gamara. I can put Audrin then in the, if that's still an option. I can put Kyle Walker Peters and Nicholas Audrin in that reserve match because they did not make the cut onto the bench for this. All right. Vicario, Kiyote, Romero, Ashley Phillips, Vandevin, Guerra, Sar, Kulazevsky, Constantelius, Moore, Hendrick. Yeah, I think if you gave me an entire offseason and we swapped a few pieces out that we didn't like for a few pieces that we liked. I think this is a team that could contend for the league. I think maybe we haven't been playing with enough confidence now that I, you know, and I don't have the full locker room support yet either. I think that's definitely a part of it. That always makes you gun shy. We don't have a ton of familiarity with what we're trying to do relative to other teams. Locker room support was really low when we got here. So we needed to just not lose for a while in order to kind of build up that trust, but we have a good atmosphere. We've got good cohesion. I think this is definitely a top four team, at least of the pieces we have right now, if I was here from the beginning of the season. But yeah, we did just lose our last two matches, so go put an end to that. Granted, they were near-run things, but I am hoping that at home against Coventry, we can just smack them around. Get our team ready to go play against Lawns in the Europa League, you know? Oh. 
what is my goal before I move on to a new team that wants me? I mean, we won. Very important. We're going to win a trophy here. Uh, we, we're going to win a trophy. That is the that is the goal. And um, the Europa League is obviously on tap for this year. With the loss we just took, the Premier League, even in a pipe dream, is out of the question. Uh, so we're going to try and finish in the best spot that we can in the Prem get every point that we can. We don't have the easiest run in, but we did already just get two of our really tough matches out of the way. Lost both of them, which sucked, but this is a match against a team that is virtually already relegated, so we all know what that means in FM. That means this is a counter, baby! Oh. Come on, Endrick. Oh, let's go, Endrick. That's, that's enough. Javi Guerra. Looking to push the tempo, finds Yanis Constantelius. What's he, what's he thinking here? Couldn't really figure it out. We've got Vandeven. Mickey Vandeven. Oh, that's a good ball, yo. Kulazevsky, you're not a tiny dude. Get up there more. Why? You know what the XG is on that? Negative one. Negative point one, because they're going to get a good counter off. You smacking it off the dude, Sar. Constantelius, we're still going. Indrik, Javi Guerra. That's good, though. That's brilliant. He should have taken a touch into that space, and it would have been an easier finish, but that's really well worked. And okay, that will be our ball. Thank you very much. Hendrick, Mikey Moore. That's a nice finish by Mikey Moore. Thank you very much. Yo, Ravers, thank you so much for the prime, dude. Thank you for supporting the stream. Enjoy your ad-free experience, brother. Courtesy of Jeffy B. Oh, bang that in. Woo! Good save. Has Mikey Moore reached his potential? He is a good but not great player. So probably not the upper end of his potential, but we don't know what his potential came in at at this save. I think it's like, what, 160 to 190? So I think it was probably on the lower half of that, and he's reached most of it. Oh, yo, ref, that's a red. Sorry. The rules are the rules. Nobody can touch Hendrick. He's too valuable. The World Cup get drawn yet? Uh, it did. Our group is pretty straightforward. It's Poland, Cameroon, New Zealand. Okay, Constantelius, yes, Kulazevsky, bobbing and weaving here, Mikey Moore, Endrick, Constantelius, Kyote. We've got like eight guys up against the back line right now. Just pass it to one of them. Thank you. Oh, we got 140. Wait, what is Mikey Moore's potential? Is it 140 to 170, dude? I thought it was 160 to 190 or maybe 150 to 180. No shot, bro. Do I want to know? I mean, I made a video with Mikey Moore in it. Knowing somebody's potential ability range does not equal knowing, like, how good they could actually become. It's also seven years in the future. He almost is what he is at this point. Like, it doesn't really matter. Red Steel, thank you for the prime. Oh, uh oh. All right, Ashley, right in front of you. Good. Is Vizkovic good? He's my fourth best center back. He he would be good, like for. A mid-table La Liga team, he'd probably be like a starter and real serious feature. But for a team 
in the knockouts, the champions league, like at that level, he's not, uh, he's not the bees knees, at least in this save. Okay. Yeah. So how's I all doing? He was like literally in here yesterday. Nice header. Mickey Vandeman makes it 2-0. But I appreciate you checking in, you know. I'm glad we're worried about each other's safety out there. Oh, he's literally here right now. Nice. Hey. Run, he's here. Ah! Do, 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 do. Oh, let's go. We get a third real quick. A nice prompt third goal. Oh, there you go. Kulazevsky, Kulazevsky, and he draws a penalty. Every goal matters. The goal difference is very important. If you actually injured Kulazevsky, as much as I hate on him, I will be very upset with you because he brings that world-class wing quality to this team. Class J, welcome to the Hammers, dude. Welcome to the... Welcome to the Elite Online Gaming Community. So I had to say it as the ball went in. Enjoy the bacon. Enjoy the emotes. Enjoy the ad-free experience. Why do we have Endrick? I don't know. We bought him. He seemed like a pretty good player. I'd never really heard of him before. Let's go. 3-0 exactly with the doctor ordered. Play it short. It's wide open. Oh, who am I kidding? I'm sorry. I I should have known, Hendrick. I should have known that was in the bag. I should have known. So 4-0 at halftime. Goal difference is actually kind of important because of the ridiculous log jam we find ourselves in. So let's keep padding the stats, man. We'll play you guys until 60 and then sub out the key starters. What a goal by Hendrick. Welcome to Tottenham, my good man. Welcome to Tottenham. All right, Vandeven. Okay. Taking care of business against Coventry, who are eight points into the relegation zone with eight matches left, including this one. So they, they're they up a creek without a paddle right now. Oh, my. And we wasted it. Wow. All righty, then. Constantelli, especially Phillips. Hendrick was capped today. What's Brazil doing? It's March 1st. That's not a window, normally. Him a one. Friendly? Yeah, but I, I mean, it's like not a window. They did. Oh, what the hell is that, dude? What? That's not even real. That's so like, what? Dude's an American too. I know Haji Wright. What? <laughs> what Romero just happened? Like that angle's impossible. They, what they're trying to tell me happened is Romero volleyed that clear. And it somehow went directly up into the left into Haji Wright's forehead into the back of the net. All right. Whatever you say, boss. Kulazevsky. Kyote. Kul uh, that's a penalty, ref. Okay. It's taking the day off, I guess. Nice, Romero. Not easy to beat Haji Wright on a header like that. Mikey Moore. All right. We lost the ball again. Third time's a charm. Vandeven, Mikey Moore again. There you, my God. 
What are we doing? I want to win by a lot of goals. For the goal difference. Phillips, no? All right. Let's both chase the ball. That looks sick. Oh, my. Vandeven. Yeah, I mean, if you ever want to feel insignificant, Haji Wright has a World Cup knockout goal, and you don't. Haji Wright has a World Cup knockout goal. You're welcome. He's the guy that scored for the U.S. against the Netherlands in 2022. Now, Vetsy, thank you for the seven months. Hello. How you doing? Surely not. Thank you. We've won the same number of World Cups, though. That is true. That is very true. Nice play, Romero. Nice pass, Kulazewski. I thought he was not going to call that. I was like, um, sir? Sir? Oh, my God. So giving them another talk. Now we're just coming in with a heaping pie, a steaming plate of complacency. And it's in! Unbelievable! USA undefeated against England in World Cup history. Very true. Very true. Interesting little factoid there that you just said. Oh, that was sick. Was that onside? Oh, it was. Yanis Constantelius. He's making this whole Premier League thing look way too easy. Oh, that was that was sick. Lee Kong In to Yanis Constantelius just wraps it around the keeper. See you later. Now England has zero SEC championships last time I checked. So I don't know why we even take them seriously. <laughs> Lee Kong In, where, where's Romero? Oh, oh no, I wanted a cool goal. Near side. What? Coyote, take that. Ooh. Or the back heel. I don't care if you make a bad pass. As long as it's a back heel. We can work with that. Getting our shape back. I respect it. Sar. Oh, Coyote continuing the run. It's Mikey Moore. Of course he doesn't square it. Constantelli is nice header. That was not good. We want ten. Yeah, I'd prefer that. That would be that would be neat if we got I don't know ten goals or something. But Hendrick can basically play entire matches. I really just want Santiago Jimenez to like get a goal, and also we might as well have Hendrick be as fresh as possible for our upcoming tie with Lons. Sar. Oh yes. Pope Matarsar with a $16 million a year type goal right there. Oh, we did not see that coming. That is against the narrative of us desperately trying to get rid of this guy. Starpiper is thank you for the four months. Pope Matarsar with a beauty. Well, that'll pad the goal difference, and the goal difference is very important considering... So if we could score again, that'd be awesome. Lewis. Oh, yes, it's Gamara. Oh, I was saved. Yeah, that's the type of goal that gets 75 million off a Saudi team right there. Constantelius. Oh, Yannis. Get 
this ball out of here, man. We still haven't caught Bournemouth on goal difference. It's so annoying. Get it out of there. Oh, that's fine. Come on, guys. Sorry, yeah, Sar is on uh sixteen million dollars a year, which is over three hundred thousand a week. The contracts on this team are rough. I don't know who was giving him out. I do. It was Zinedine Zidane. They are rough. We're talking about a club that spent seventy odd million on Santiago Jimenez. No shot. Yeah, the majority of the registered team when I got here was making over $10 million a year. We've reduced the payroll somewhat with a couple of sales, but... Look at that freaking log jam, fifth to ninth. Two points. And our win against Coventry City has put us in that log jam. There's going to be one team that misses out on Europe that is very salty about it. As a result of our consecutive defeats, we are now five points off a top four place, but it is what it is, dude. We can do it. We we can do what we can do from this point. We can do what we can do from this point. Don't forget the uh yeah, it was 71 million up front. How dare you? It was uh, 71 million up front for the Iceland Messi. Haroldson, but 21 million after 20 league matches, which is why he is not really featuring right now because we don't want to freaking trigger that. Uh, Brighton's the in-between match. That's actually really nice. Even though it's Brighton away, that is that is nice. We'll be able to rotate the team some. It'll work out. Eves Basuma has signed a new one-year contract to get him through next year. Um, we are, we're happy with that. It reduces his impact on the wage budget rather significantly. His base wage is down from 18 and a half million to 10.4 million. Does that reduce his wage right now as well? That started immediately. I would hope that it did. It did start immediately. So that has reduced his impact on the wage budget. We're committed to spending just 350 million after the end of this year, which is wonderful. That is awesome. Doing a real rip roaring good job. Why is our junior coaching budget not as high as it could be? America, explain. All right, these are the wonder kids from around the world. We have Jose Reyna. No relation to Gio, as far as I know. Plays for Lanus. It's a striker and maybe inside forward off the left. Not a great player. Oh, we only had only had two reports. What is this? Wow, Fulham just beat Brighton. To pull themselves out of the relegation zone and pull Brighton closer towards it. It's getting dangerous, Brighton. Getting dangerous. Alex Neal, the Brighton coach, is getting mad at me. All right, he is uh, he's the one getting mad at me all over the place about how much Kyle Walker Peters is playing. But you know what? I don't care. You know what? And this is true. Low level of training they're getting. All right. Tell you what. Do -do -do. Up that, and yeah, I'm aware of those complaints. I, I we're we're playing a lot of matches, man. I don't I don't know what we we pack in the training as much as we can. We got a lot of matches to play. All right. We've got Lons in the Europa League quarterfinal next. Prepare yourselves.
da, there goes my hero. Tottenham gripped by Europa League fever? Dude, same. I am, I am Europa League fever. I am Europa League fever. Mike, thank you for the 49 months. Platinum Z bacon win. True, dude. You, you, you actually are, you are, Mike, you're blazing a trail. We already have a lot of youth players and we encourage you to get the most out of them. Request denied. That concludes this meeting. In future, please do not waste our time with things like this. Daniel! Daniel, I am just trying to improve the team, man. Daniel? Stop scotching takeover talks, dude. Christian McFarlane. Yeah, dude, switch to Jamaica. I'll, I will tell you to switch to Jamaica. Good luck. Here goes my hero. Tino Livermento loaned that dude in in January. Recovered from his hip injury, sprained his ankle, never played a match for us. <laughs> He's here in name only. He's on the team in, in name only. Okay. First team, right? That's what we need. Inacio, Romero, Rico, Lewis, Mickey Vandevin, Vicario, Javi Guerra, Eves Basuma right now. He's still got that spot going strong. Kulazevsky, Bellarmino, Seca, Zanini, Endrick. That's the team. Uh, we're going to do a little unavailable filter so we can concentrate our eyes on who else is uh, hanging around here. But we do have, you know, some spots available on the bench. I think we'll be able to wedge nearly everybody in here. Uh, Vuskovic. Yeah. Oh, and uh, Kelleher's back. Thank freaking goodness he's back. Branson, our third string goalkeeper, no longer riding the pine. Starting 11 is good. Starting goalkeepers in there. We are playing at home against Laws in the Europa League quarterfinal. This is not your daddy's Laws, okay? The, the This team has a tycoon. They are very, very competent. A, per, a perennial top four team in France that we at St. Etienne kept out of the top four last year. That's why they're in the Europa League. We kept them out at St. Etienne. But we know what this team is capable of. This is a good team. Randy, thank you for the 34 months. Oh, he's a, you're about to hit the Z-Bacon too, dude. Oh, you better win the Europa League. Randy, I am trying. Train, thank you for the 39 months. A lot of the, a lot of the old heads around with the Z-Bacon. Train, thank you. And Mike, you know, I guess we should be getting a four-year uh, sub badge coming around soon. The farthest in we have is the three-year sub badge, which is... Uh, the Z bacon, but Mike is at four years. I've signed way too many players, especially young ones. What do I do? You got to pick the ones that you want to invest your time in. The rest you're going to loan out. A few will stand out on loan. A few will bomb on loan, but you got to loan them out. You can't keep too many guys around your team or else a bunch of guys will start getting real upset. So you got to find places where they can get the playing time that you have promised them. Why am I removing this? This is literally what I put on. Oh, I am so ready though, dude. Europa League knockouts. The quarterfinals. This is the gold medal round, right? Here. Well, it's not. I mean, there's eight teams left, but this is where it gets real serious. This is where it gets really serious. Uh, I want to take control of the tie, dude. I want to take control of the tie. I know you guys like me now. Take control of the tie. Showtime! Freaking showtime in New White Hart Lane, baby. It's showtime. Whoa, whoa. 
Oh, 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 yo, Europa League, let's go. Quarterfinals, Lens, our old nemesis from France, and Tottenham. Oh, nice, Sanini, way to close that down. Bellarmino Seca. Ah, oh, that's okay. That's all right. And they've got some brand names on their team. Sailmakers, Solbakken. We applied to this job. We applied to manage laws a few months before we got the Tottenham job, and we didn't get it. <laughs> oh, that's mine. Hendrik, Seca. Oi. Gera, well, somebody, somebody has to pretend they want to score. Like, what is that? It's good defense. Come on, lads, take the space now. Basuma, let's go. Seca, let's go. Indrik, let's go. Oh, a little giddy up. Oh! He said, watch this. Zanini. Oh, they're going long throws? Respect, dude. I hated how well worked that play was. I loathed it. Kolozewski took a little knock right at the start of the match, which sucks. Nice, Anasio. Didn't fall for it. Didn't fall for any of that nonsense. Ubisuma. Wow, it's run free for Kolozewski. How are you are allegedly our best player and that's your move in that spot? Shouldn't even be shooting that. To miss the target. Oh, let's go. Oh, that was so sick. Oh, Endrick just wasn't quite on the same page. Nice, Basuma, Seca, Zanini, Seca! Let's freaking go. That was a gorgeous goal. Take it right to him, Tottenham. Take it right to him. Seca. Oh, Kulazewski. Dang it. Okay. Well, that is great to get the first half goal to open the scoring at. Oh, Hendrik. Yo. Pounce like a tiger, Indrik, like a tiger. Just like that. Ooh, Vandevin. He's running down a bit of a blind alley. Well done. Recognized it. Now he's going to let Zanini go flying past. This is what Zanini does. That's just never going in, though. Nice header, Eves. Zanini should just be able to run. Well. <sighs> oh, great coverage by Romero. Look at that. Way to get over there. Kulazewski. Javi Guerra. Kulazewski. Rico. Eves. Hendrik played short. No, they were leaving Bellarmino Seca all alone.
Play it. Thank you. Don't waste any time. Don't let them get cozy back there. He's off, surely. Well, I guess not. All right. We're kind of all over him here. I'd love to get a couple of goals and make the road trip real comfortable. Oh, good header. Yeah, where's the shoots with power, dude? I've seen you hit absolute blinders. What was that? Oh, Romero. Bit of skill there from Christian Romero. And now it's Kulazevsky, who's so hard to deal with in this particular spot. One of the few times that I've seen him just fail utterly to get just shake free and get a delivery in. I am going to focus on, I'm pleased the number of shots we've taken. Kulazevsky's in a 6.5 and he picked up a knock, so my eyes are peeled. Give Indrik time. We know what Indrik is. We, 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 we give the man time. We've seen flashes of what he can do. He's learning English. He jumped into the team in the middle of the season. He's produced some big moments for us already. He's just not consistent. You know, he's not like our most reliable. Let's lean on Indrik to win this game. But Seca? Oh. Oh, Vandeven. Oh, it's a cheeky little penalty there, ref. That's a cheeky little penalty. Javi Guerra stands over it. Let's freaking go, dude. Javi Guerra delivers the pen. And it's 2-0 at home against Laws. Sub. I honestly never even looked. I was just seeing if he could play there, man. Bellarmino Sek is going to stay out there. We are going to swap in Papa Sar for Yves Basuma. He's been playing a little bit off. Christian Romero's on a yellow and on a 6.7. I trust Ashley Phillips. So we'll get Romero off the field, not keep him under too much pressure. He's the only guy we had with a yellow. All right. They are pressing hard. Fullback, dear, dear Googly Elmo. Please don't do that. Nice pass. Terrible pass. Oy, yeah, 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 yeah. Can I boost Hendrix's attributes? Yeah, dude. Let me um, let me go open a few packs. I'll be right back. See if I can do an Evo. Oh, yeah. I, oh, no, I see exactly what they're going to do. I'm just glad that they messed it up. A bad turnover there, Broheem Tato Chip. That is a bad turnover. Constantelius, you're stepping right in there. And um, Javi Guerra, you're also coming off for Hector Gamara. All right, and you're going on to support. Is that understood? Yes, sir. <laughs> Two nils, all right. I don't know if that's, I mean, I guess that is kind of what we deserve, like 1.65 XG, but. Sar more. He's going for it. Oh, wow. He nearly scored. Hello. Vandevin on the team next year? Absolutely. I freaking love Mickey Vandevin. That guy's a beast. He's an, he's an, he's an athletic mental monster, and his technique isn't bad. 
I love I love Vandevin. I think we can win whatever we want with him playing left back. And Rico at right back. Very good fullbacks on this team. Uh, that would be my Pelota. Zanini. Constantilius, surely! Yanis Constantilius again! The inevitable Greek has struck for Tottenham. And it is a convincing route at the new White Hart Lane. Zanini with the assist. Huge to get that third goal. Huge. That makes the road trip so much more comfortable when you have that three goal advantage. Yeah, they're trying not to give up another one. That's the tactical adjustment they just made. They just parked it with two uh, two strikers up there. Oh, they got their wingbacks are way, way up. Immediately in possession. Way up there. No, it's just a couple minutes, lads, but uh, you've got my attention. Them wingbacks and uh, Andy Juf, they're way up there. And we've got, you know, one more thing. And another thing. Vallejos, man, bring that back. Nuno, thank you for the three months, man. Uh, that's what they used to call it in uh, Football Manager. It was the new White Hard Lane. But sorry, the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Thank you. Did your all over. I appreciate the 22 months, dude. Thank you for supporting the stream. Vandevin just got hurt. God. There's no time left in the game, dude. Just don't get hurt. It's that easy. Why doesn't he just not get hurt? All right, good pace on that pass. Nice, dude. Nice. Good win. Okay, who else won? Freiburg beat Brugge. Frankfurt and Charleroi with the draw. And then Bilbao destroyed AZ on the road. So they're looking. I mean, we play Bilbao or AZ if we get to the next round, and it looks like it's going to be us and Bilbao based off that first round of matches. Okay. Oh, it's tight hamstring. He's just going to miss one match. He'll be back for the next Laws match. Thank goodness. That was like a couple of weeks. I would have been like, <laughs> it was so frustrating because Vandevin is rarely fully fit to play a match. He's just not a guy that is fully fit often to play a match. To a point that it has frustrated me. He's gone through a little injury rigmarole in January. Yeah, that was, uh, that was the first leg, right? So we do have the away against Lons where we're going to have to avoid disaster. In the meantime, we're going to try and pick up three points at Brighton, which is a necessary three points as we continue our pursuit of a nice Europe, a nice cushy European place next season. Do I get Champions League if I win the Europa League? Yes, I do. I do get Champions League if I win the Europa League. Thank you for noticing. I ain't got just a matter of time. You steal it. What's worse for a center back, low bravery or low aggression? Bravery is like aerial duels, so I would say bravery. 
Aggression's willingness to lunge into a tackle, which is not great to have be really low on a center back, but you can have types of center backs. Everton have won 33 matches in the championship. They have 103 points with four matches to go. Oh my God. Hey, yo. That is a uh, brutal, a uh, brutal chronicle procrastination that you're, he's selling. You're selling Mo Salah for what was that? 30 million euro or pounds. That's tough. After swatting away hundred million dollar offers from, uh, from Saudi. Do, 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 uh, do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Profit loss. Oh, we had the dude took the second biggest loss of any club of the Premier League. Probably because of the ridiculous amount of freaking spending. Ugh. It was happening before I got here. Absolutely absurd amount of spending that was occurring. Oh, Villa just lost. That is a open door. Villa and Bournemouth fumbled the bag. We could jump over both of them and stay a point off Liverpool and two points off Chelsea. Understood. Assignment understood. The surprise teams are starting to fade away. Where's, uh... Oh, it's his team, so I can't play him. Five beers, please. Unfortunately, Shawnee, I love you. Thank you for the seven months. We did hear that one earlier today, which is just tough luck, but it is a good dad joke. You'll hear no argument from me about the fact that that is a good dad joke. Board expectation, uh, Europa League. I overpromised so that I could get the job. So I didn't actually think I was going to get the job, but I did overpromise so that I could get the job. Surprised Javi Guerra's like ready to go. Kulazevsky's not. Do, 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 do. So Rico, not 100% cleared. It'd be really wonderful if I had Tino Livermento back on my team at literally any point. So we loaned him in. I'm just paying him a couple million in salary to just sit there and do nothing. But it is what it is, brother. It is what it is. All right. Away. This is a very important result to get. I know that we are rotating a little bit, especially in that front couple. But this is a very important result to get. And we will be very uh, cavalier with bringing Zanini, Kulazevsky, and Seca off the bench if we feel like we need to in order to get this result. But Lee, Constantelius, and Mikey Moore. You can do this. I freaking believe in you. One substitute. Ad oh, he's also unavailable. Hello, Kyle Walker Peters. How you doing? You can't play against your parent club. Which sucks because this is one of the matches you would have played in, Kyle. For the favorites. Let's deliver the goods. For the favorites. On the road against Brighton, they're in a relegation struggle. We are the favorites. We need these three points to keep the pressure on the teams above us. This puts us in a European place if we get these three points right here, right now. East Coast Reese, thank you for the gifted sub. Juju, uh, that, that's just, ju oh, that's just Justin. Okay, I can read. Enjoy the bacon, enjoy the emotes. If you're here, be sure to say thank you. Enjoy your month of ad-free nonsense, courtesy of East Coast Reese, and thank you for supporting the stream. Velociraptor, thank you for the eight months as well. I think I, I think I missed you earlier, but I appreciate it. Was Endergaard playing here? No, I brought him in. Uh, 85 million over four years. It was a pretty sound deal, honestly. Surprisingly good deal that we could get. For all Endrick. 
Oh, Lee Kong in. Oh, wow. That was so disappointing. What was even the point of intercepting that? <laughs> Just to run towards the line and uh, give it back to them. What are we doing? Uh, all of this is making me uncomfortable. That was good goalkeeping, but... All right. Now we go to Ashley. Dude, their press is uh, impressively high. It's a good thing we started Sar. He's got really good passing instincts. You know who doesn't, apparently? Kyote, who is just zing. Was he on? No, thank goodness. Matoma, leave me alone. He's got to have some insane numbers if he's been at Brighton this long. Yeah, very clearly off. Good line, guys. Oh, nice, Sar. Very well. Oh, my goodness, that passing combo. Please lead to a goal so I can rewatch that, Indrik. Oh, my goodness, yes. Yanis Constantelius. I just want to rewatch that. That was so good. Oh, this is brilliant. Sar with the first time interception. Constantelius, Guerra, boom, we're on the attack. Indrik feels it out, puts pressure on the defense, kicks it out in front of the guy. He tackles it right into Constantelius' path. And Yanis just can't stop scoring, man. What a player. The Greek god Yanis Constantelius. He is a machine. Amazing signing. I think we have a match coming up against Chelsea too, so this could be a very exciting six-pointer with Champions League on the line that's queuing up here for the end of the season. Go, Billy Gilmore, just get out of here with that nonsense, Billy. Get out of here with that nonsense. Did Greece make the World Cup? I don't think so. Can we play Roma for the Greek god line? Uh, honestly, it'd be worth it. We should play a friendly there. He, I think he was on. I thought he was completely offside, but it looks like he was on. Not a lot from uh, Lee Kong In or Mikey Moore right now, which sucks. Um, guys, guys, what are we doing, guys? Oh, we're winning that header is what we're freaking doing. Hell yeah! <sighs> no, Ashley. Resist the urge. Thank you. Oh, my. The Lee Kong in, you'd be mistaken for thinking he was on the bench. To be fair to him, that's where he spent most of the season. And that would be why. It's decent from Romero. My goodness, was that onside? That's just... No, okay. That first time ball... Yo. Hart skipped a beat there for a second. I thought the fullback might have kept him. My God. I mean, he did. Like, in the match engine, the underlying match engine, he's offside according to the lines, but the 3D match engine had him very much onside. So my heart skipping a beat was entirely justified. 3D match engine says that should have been a goal. 2D match engine disagrees wholeheartedly. Um, That's over. Awesome. Reesey, thank you for the 30 months, my dude. I appreciate it. Phillips. Just loading up here. All right. Got to do that a couple times for more power. Oh, Sar, that's a dime. Constantelius again. He's unstoppable. He's an absolute sensation. Yanis Constantelius involved in the build-up as well. It's a give and go, really. And what a finish.
Tottenham's own Greek god has given them a two-goal lead at halftime. I'm going to focus on possession here, boys. On the road, a first-half brace for Yanis Constantel. And now he's dropping an absolute dime to Lee Kong. And I mean, what a pass from Constantel. He's just, he is like the best player in the Premier League right now. It's insane. He's so good. Oh, nice, Rico. I mean, now, except the fact you just gave up a corner from, like, nothing. Time to make him a starter? Yeah, I, look, I'm... It, it's under advisement. Oh, he's shooting that. Shoot. Good save. Now all we have to do is buy LeBron James, and my plan is complete. Of course. Coyote, back to, ooh, where are we going? Indrik, Constantelius. Have to imagine he's about to do something dangerous. He is, that was excellent. He's trying to set up Javi Guerra in front of the goal. Uh, do, do, do. Oh, big save by Guglielmo Vicario, hello. Hello. Yeah, uh, Constantelius, best twenty-four million ever spent, surely. Give me Gara, Gamara, yep. Uh give me I don't have anybody that can sub in for Rico Lewis. So we're just going to have him defend. Oh, uh, Mikey Moore, why are you being why why are you being bad, man? Let's bring in Vittorio Zanini. Um Lee Kong In's also being bad. It's a real shame when that happens. Uh let's move Endrick out there and then go with Santi Jimenez. So I want to get Sandy Jimenez in, but Endrick definitely can uh, can still play, so Indra, go do your thing. Ooh, is he on? Santi! No way! Of course he was off. Oh, it was so good. Oh, it was barely, dude. Just hold the run a little longer. Got the hips around. That is so sweet. Like sweet music to my eyes right there. And he was freaking offside. Nice. Great work by Romero. Gamara. Oh, Santi. He's got Indrick from the wing. Hello, my good man. Greetings. For I am the mighty Zealand. And I'm here to conquer everything. <laughs> Wonderful goal. Santi Jimenez has always had classy buildup. Who's hurt? No! You better not. It's Yanis Constantelius that's down. Now they're just taking out their anger. Excellent swivel. No keeping up with Indrik on that play. Tell me he's fine. Oh, I was literally about to sub him out anyways, so I guess we don't know. It's not a red injury, right? No, it says no injury. Okay, cool. Don't you dare, Ben Breerton Diaz, you fake Chilean. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? I agree, Hendrick's better on the wing. That's also where we have cool. Oh, my. Ignace Vanderbrimt with his first goal of the season. The hell is this guy? Who the hell is this guy? I didn't hear that. Hold on. Got to uh, 
get my strelements up real quick. What is Harry Potter's favorite way to go down a hill? Walking. JK. Rolling. Sid, thank you for the $5. I'm going to go with a B minus on that one. I'm going to go with a B minus on that one. Uh, it did have the desired effect. There was like the delayed punchline that you could see coming. That's very dad joke esque, you know? Very dad joke. Oh, no. What in the world are we doing, guys? Oh, the first ball was offside. Thank goodness. Uh, we are uh, like we are not actually letting the back of this game, are we? The first ball was off. Oh, he's he he, he played it from dude. He's like eight hours offside. Why do we even continue that play? Uh, what what do we what what um what? We, uh, we lose a few brain cells somewhere along the way. There we go. Sorry, that's good header. Kamara, look at the left wing. Or drop a dime to the right wing and Endrick. Oh, Endrick's feeling the vibe. Coyote on the pound. So oh, there's Endrick. And it's 4-1. Two goals from the wing for Endrick. Yeah, Hendrick, let's freaking go, dude. Coyote, that's a zinger of a cross. Somehow got through those other two guys. Jimenez can't score a goal to save his life right now, but at least he threw a screen for Hendrick. And the goal difference helps. Now we're level with Aston Villa on goal difference, and we are well ahead of Liverpool and Chelsea on goal difference. So while this does feel like stat padding, it is also important because there's such a gigantic traffic jam in the table. Yes. Freaking yes, dude. Hey, a 4-1 win on the road. I don't care if we're playing the local YMCA. It's a 4-1 win on the road. I'll take that. That's a good result. That's a good result. Arsenal and Manchester United battling for the title. They seem to be pulling away a little bit. Respect to them. We'll be there. We'll be there. We've got Lons away with a three-goal advantage. That's right. No, how was he bad? But he looks so nice. He had 17 to 20 acceleration. How is he bad? I demand an explanation. I don't believe you. And Christian Zinal, this is the young uh, Polish guy who's on the national team. That's, dude, that's crazy. Meanwhile, Rosario Renai. Okay, he's the real athlete. Rosario Renai is the real get up and go direct down the wing cross and beast and he is on he should be on the good list thank you christian berger he's all right this is our uh wonder kid scouting Ooh, dennis Rejov dennis Rejovic. and he's still playing at victoria to game this is That's what I'm talking about, brother, is somebody somebody just like that that we need to bring into this club in the summer, somebody that can grow with the team and be uh, be full bore, you know, absolutely on all the time. I like that. Ben El Hogig. I gave it my best effort. Um, yeah, he's good. He's very good. Lucas Caleo. William Diallo. Man, we had a lot of information we still need to figure out about these dudes. This guy's fast and can finish. He's 17 years old. That's worthy of being on the good list, and he is. Kirschbaum. Nah, he's all right. Sheikata. Axel Valentin. I like how my staff is so large that it's able to literally get all of the answers I was looking for immediately. We turned every single player. Enrique Flores. Okay, Vanya Duranich.
Nah, he's not that good. <sighs> Zanini replacement? Yeah, going for that other guy. The, uh, the, the one that I really like because our team lacks that pace on the outside. Obviously, we loaned Zanini in this year. But our team really does lack that pace. And so what we need is somebody that can take the lid off another team. Just absolutely blow them out of the water. Abdul Aziz El Turkey. He's available for free. They're like, somebody, please. I don't know, man. He, he doesn't see the field well enough. Abdel, Adel Abdel Rahim. I wish you had any other skill set but passing the ball. Have you ever do any other part of the game just for fun? Just like to mix it up sometimes. Do, 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 do. Man, you're a little overhyped. You're a little slow, Buster. You're a little slow. All right, we got all those scouting reports while I was at the match. I love that for me. Hello, Laws. I'm done scouting my Wonder Kids now. You ready to lose? All right, Karsten Eberts. Why is he on half training? Oh. How many guys are on half training? All right, who's, who's frigging training intensity is set to half? Can we do automatic, please? Not just, you know, what what is this? Guys that just played, they got, you know, the automatic. Come on. Now, one of these guys are complaining about training. I, I didn't know that the computer was going to put it on anything other than automatic. Just like got borked, I guess, when I took the team over. So that's why those guys are training about the lack of, they're complaining about the lack of training. because they're not doing anything. Well, now I get it. All right. Rest of my staff meeting. Sorry. Thank you, staff meeting, for letting me know. I had no idea. Clearly. We should look into extending Vittorio Zanini's loan. Yeah, I mean, we might just go try and buy a guy that's not 200 million. But whatever, whatever is good. Oh, Endrick is now uh, able to settle in comfortably uh, because the efforts made to welcome him. That is fantastic. That is really, that it, that is great to hear. Maybe that's why he just bagged two goals. He's starting to feel a lot more comfortable around here. You said Ingley and McAvoy could become as good as Mickey Vandeven. I'm going to stop you right there. He's not going to become as good as Mickey Vandeven. I will stop you right there. I'm also going to go out of my way to make sure that Endrick feels welcomed after a couple of goals. You know, hey, you've been been on your game recently, dude. You're the type of dude. You're, you're the type of guy that can make a difference for us. Who is that, Tino? Finally, maybe Livermento plays one game for us when he finally gets match sharp and we need him in the rotation again. We got a lot of guys in our short list, so we uh we don't need to deal with Lucas Lissandro de Filippis. Roberto Pinolosa. You're bad. You're not good. You're okay, and now that we're looking at American scouting. Come on, Coventry! I don't know. All United blow him out. Well, I guess Coventry's getting relegated. They're 10 points into the zone. Coventry and Cardiff are done. Brentford, Fulham, and Brighton are battling for the last spot in. Such is life on the bottom of the table. What was the result against Brighton? A uh, whopping 4-1 with a late Indrick brace and an early Constantelius double. What are my automatic training intensity set? I set them earlier. I do a lot of no intense training when players are feeling bad, but then when players are feeling really good, we double it up. It's particularly helpful for development. Are the shortened version of these streams uploaded on YouTube? Yes. That would be the Zealand Live channel if you've ever happened to wander across that in your, in your uh, YouTube travels. 
That's what that entails. They're edited down versions of this stream, actually. Son Young Min is singing Constantelius's praise. We love that. He's 37. He's still balling out. He's on PSV. Oh, he just left. Oh, he left on a free at the end of last year after a an incredibly prolific career. 465 appearances, 180 goals, ton of trophies, won a lot of trophies, definitely. Ninja Panda! 40, 46 months? Holy smokes. Okay, well, it'll be fine for the World Cup. I just didn't want that. You're in my plans, dude. Don't you're Geo freaking Reina. You're just you're out for three weeks. As long as you're good for the World Cup, I don't care. Vanda, thank you for the 46 months. Once worked at an Indian restaurant so secretive, I had to sign a legal document that I wouldn't steal their flatbed recipe. Uh, apparently, it's just your standard non-disclosure agreement. Do you think the MLS could be a top league of the world? And will they have to do I, I, I don't think that would. If it does happen at some point in the future, I'll be like 55 years old. That's That sort of thing happens very slowly over time. Uh, it's not something that I think is going to happen anytime in the near future. And I don't think any reasonable person thinks in the next five years the MLS is going to be like the biggest league of the world. Like it's not. Um, All right, we've got Racing Club de Lens and then West Ham right after it. Uh, they want me to sign Yanis Mavrudis. I mean, yeah, we've already got a lot of Greek flavor and the dude only wants a youth contract. Why not? Zealand's delivery was an F. The joke is a B. No, I was going to go B+. Plus. I like the uh, it's a non-disclosure agreement. I, I tripped over one word, okay? One word. God. All right, we are going to rotate. This is going to sound a little weird, but we are going to rotate today. We we are, we are going to rotate. I'm going to start Gamara and Eves Basuma and Kyle Walker Peters. We're going to drop Romero and go with Inacio and Phillips. Rico just literally plays every game, so. <laughs> do do. You might be sitting there thinking, are those famous last words? Well, I really want to win that West Ham game at home, and we are up 3-0 right now. So I think we start Constantelius in that spot. I think we can start Kulazevsky. I think that we start Mikey Moore. Well, I mean, I, I think that in the future, at some point in the future, MLS is going to at least raise the salary cap by a lot. The salary cap is maintained as a way to allow the owners of the clubs to make money, and they make a lot of money. They make a really good amount of money. Okay, Coyote, Phillips, Inacio, um... Cario, Gamara, Basuma, Kulazevsky, Konstantelius, Mikey, Moore, and Indrik. That's pretty good. Uh, it's not a bad team, but it is just a little short of a few of our best players. But, you know, it still has Yanis out there. Tino Livermento makes the bench for the literally the first time this entire year. Make sure we're 100% focused on this match. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Because we were up 3-0, I kind of forgot.
Oh, oh, oh. And we're off with a 3 0 advantage in the second leg in France against Lens, who are definitely going to be disappointed that they are down 3 0. A partially rotated team to allow us to be fit enough to give a go at West Ham or at home against West Ham. Keep trying to put pressure on the league that is so very compact. We are drawn against the winner of AZ and Athletic Bilbao, which means it's probably Athletic Bilbao. Goodness, Constantelius. Because Bilbao beat AZ 4-0 in the Netherlands, so it'd be an unbelievable comeback if they flipped it. I mean, here's the thing. People always go, well, you know, America's the sleeping giant. I think America's kind of woken up. Like, is it all the way yet? Absolutely not. Nay, hey, thank you, Kulazewski. I was beginning to worry that you couldn't score. And he doesn't even get credit for the goal. It's an own goal. But the U.S. has got a pretty good team. Like, when you just look, you know, Weston McKinney is one of the best players at Juventus. Christian Pulisic is a star at AC Milan. Like... The U.S. has a pretty good team. I mean, I know it's not like, you know, obviously we're nowhere near the Brazils and the Germanys of the world or England, right? But we can show up against England and not lose right, at the World Cup and really deserve not to lose. Yeah, but I think it's 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 unfair to the number of U.S. players that are being exported to top leagues these days to say that the U.S. is, like, still completely asleep. Like, obviously, I think the U.S. can get a lot better, but... Oh, get after it, Kulazewski! How in the world can this guy not score a goal? It's amazing. Pulisic isn't a star, bro. You've watched him at Chelsea, right? I mean, have you watched literally any winger play for Chelsea in the last five years? Like, since Aiden Hazard left, every single winger. So Weston McKinney's not even good enough for Leeds? No, he just didn't want to be there. Read the match, like, read the match reports from Juventus. He's been one of their best players all year long. The Italian media, which not a big fan for, oh my goodness. Oh, Indrik, he's comfortable now. You better watch out because Indrik is comfortable now. And he just barbecued that ball into the back of the net. I guess Indrik is good now. Couldn't have said it better. 5-0 on aggregate. We are, uh, we're doing brilliantly, yes. It's 5-0 on aggregate in the rain on the road in a Europa League quarterfinal. Are you kidding me? No, but I mean, Pulisic's been one of the leading goal contributors. Regular name in the 11 at AC Milan. He's been really important for their team. Uh, Weston McKinney has had a huge career resurgence at Juventus. Because initially they were trying to sell him, which is why they loaned him to Leeds. But McKinney's a guy that can mentally check out. And he went to Leeds and he was like, nope. <laughs> he he does it with the U.S. national team sometimes, too. He just checks out. He He's not. He He's obviously not Paul Pogba, but he has a little bit of that in his game that, like, if he's not in the right spot and he isn't feeling it, he kind of won't show up. In the U.S., I think it's impossible to overstate how far we've come in my, you know, in just the past 10 years. I, I mean, 10 years ago, right, the idea of even one person like Christian Pulisic was a fantasy. I remember when somebody said, yeah, there's this 17-year-old that just popped up in the Dortmund Academy, and I was like, oh, another Julian Green, another Gideon Zalalem, you know? Now, Julian Green's actually kind of turned his career around, but... Then Pulisic started playing for Dortmund, and everybody was like, oh, my God. This, this kid, like, came up in America and is legitimately starting for Dortmund at 17 years old. Everybody was just, like, freaking out. We were like, wow, 
You know, because when I was a little kid, it was like you were just trying to spot the guy who could potentially play for the United States that was in some reserve team somewhere. That was what that was the game we were playing when we were growing up. I mean, we had a national team with like Matt Beasler as a starting center back and Kyle Beckerman. Uh, sorry, could you repeat that? Hey, Rossi, this is Alex. I'm the assistant to Lisa, a real estate investor. I was calling about your home at 2924 Street and wanted to know if you had any interest in selling this home for a cash offer. Please leave me alone. I don't own it. She did sound like a bot. I didn't think that might have been a bot. Most of them aren't. That she kind of sounded like a bot. I might have just yelled at a bot, but it made me feel better because that guy was that guy was annoying to me yesterday, and so I, I feel better now. So that was cathartic for me, which you know, that's what we're here for, catharsis. Why was that good? I'm so annoyed that I that I enjoyed that. I'm furious. I'm furious I found that entertaining. All right, we're making some changes for fitness purposes. We're up 5-0. Yeah, no, I know. Yesterday, I, I, you know, I go, I've done everything because it's been years of people every single day. Not even joking. Every single day I get a call or a text about that specific property um and i've tried everything oh, that's a nice goal by mikey moore there that is a nice goal by mikey moore baby why do we look good boy oh do we look like an actual freaking team but yeah yesterday i was like i literally went i'm gonna level with you and the dude just hung up i was gonna ask him to take me off the list which i do a lot like, please, how did you get this number? I don't own the property. Please stop. Oh, you could have read that, Santee. That was not a genius pass by that dude. Way to dig that out, Vicario. Oh, I'm going to get a new phone number. Dude, I've had the same phone number my entire life. I'm very, very, I don't give it out a lot. I'm very, very guarded. I don't want it to, like, leak. Because I've seen that happen to other people, and it's incredibly an <laughs> absolute terror. So I, uh, I, I've i had the same number my whole life. I very, you know, even, like, co-ed soccer teams that I play on, just in case somebody knows me, I, like, don't put my number in the like group texts and stuff like probably overprotective of it and yet somehow everybody thinks i'm esteban haroldson good god man you don't get a lot of chances to play anymore maybe if you ever considered that was why so, Bill Bow's winning 5 0, but I just want them to know that we are winning 6 0. And that means we are better than them. Sar. Oh, that nearly snuck in. That was a late save. Core, good luck. First Champions League final. You got Barca on the big stage. Ashley, the solution to all of your concerns is this direction. Oh, slick. Mikey. Oh, him and Ed. Yes, finally. Oh, 
The gold drought is over for Santi Jimenez in the most pointless time of the match. But he has scored, and the confidence will start flowing back to him now. Thank you, Santi. Wait, is Brian losing? Oh, my dude, I, I know they're playing today, and it kicked off at 2.30. Oh, my. Oh, yes. Christian Gunter of Freiburg. Slotting it home from outside the box. Your live Bundesliga table has Leverkusen eight points clear with a match in hand. With either 10 or 11 matches to play. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, no, Harry Kane. <laughs> oh, no, Harry Kane. I'll bring it back down tonight. Woo -hoo. All right, I'm pretty sure we're going to be fine. So I'm going to get him off. We're up by uh, seven goals. So I think Livramento can play for 10 minutes without absolutely ruining all of that. Oh, no. Harry Kane living in a waking nightmare. How do you play a season at Bayern and not win a trophy? Super Cup. The DFB Pokal, the league that you've won 11 straight years. Insane. What if he didn't win a domestic trophy and then won the Champions League, though? They're still very much in that. I know they didn't have a great first match, but, like, let's be honest. In Bavaria, they're probably going to win that, even in the form they're in. Yeah, that would have been amazing. We, Alonso is not this bad, dude. This is a team that's normally in the Champions League. With their uh, new sugar daddy. This is a very impressive two-leg demolition we delivered. Mikey. Oh, no! He gave them a goal! With 45 seconds left in the tie. Said so Leverkusen's doing a Botsafogo. Yeah, but they're probably not going to bottle it, are they? Hey, go, 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 go. Santi, give me an eight. Kyle Walker-Peters on, on retreat. So I'm freaking talking about. So I'm freaking talking about. Way to wrap up the first leg with another dominant performance right there, boys. That's that's it. Bill Bow won 5 0 on aggregate. We won 7 1. Frankfurt has beaten Charleroi 5 3 on aggregate. And Freiburg has beaten Club Brugge 5 1. Led by a goal from American Cade Cowell. Nice. All right, so it's Freiburg, Frankfurt, and Tottenham, Bill Bow. Those are the teams left. Yeah, what if Leverkusen just goes and actually just has an unbeaten season? That'd be kind of be kind of nuts. That'd be kind of crazy. Oh, dude, it's it's bumping up against a match with Arsenal. That sucks. It bumps up with Brentford and Arsenal. I think we might get a week off after West Ham. I think that would be nice. Just a little reset for our rotations. Yeah. And then we've got Chelsea, then a nice little break, then Athletic Club, then Arsenal, then Bilbao again. So, yeah, if we, can get a, if we can get a win in these next two matches, we can spice things up a little bit right here. Man, this Premier League race, there's nine teams basically for eight spots because there's going to be eight European spots as long as the FA Cup winner is... Oh, my God. Brentford won the uh, Europe. Brentford won the League Cup. That means there's only seven. All 
All right, so there's only seven spots. We just have to stay ahead of Villa in Bournemouth. <laughs> oh, Brentford's in Europe next year, boys. Brentford's in Europe. Hell yeah. Uh, we'll do a rest. Okay. Well, right now, all we got to do is worry about West Ham at home, lads. That's all we got to worry about. West Ham at home. Mohamed Ibrahim's breakthrough in the Cincinnati Academy. Yeah, that doesn't really have me on. It's not front to mind for me. So England always dominating the coefficient. So there will be an extra European spot awarded, which means top seven get Europe. What does that, what, what, does, what does that mean they have guaranteed? Is it conference league? I would imagine. Yeah. So they've guaranteed Carabao Cup. You win it, you get guaranteed conference league. Okay. So they're set for conference league, which means. I don't know. Doesn't matter what it means. Just got to go out there and win, baby. We are Fox Sports and Tottenham. <laughs> You get into the Conference League qualifiers, that's a lot of pressure. Yeah, DK should be dropped. He's not in form at Leeds. Yeah, but he's a beast. I love Daryl DK. Yeah, I mean, we've got, look, we've got six matches left in the league, man. Every match is going to be incredibly important for a potential spot in the Champions League or whatever. You know? You get an extra Champions League spot from that. So if you finish fifth, you do get into the champ. Chelsea just lost. Sound the alarm. Chelsea just lost. United won, and those are the only teams that are relevant to the cause. Huge draw between Brentford and Crystal Palace that keeps Brentford alive. Fulham's pulling its way out. With that win over Chelsea, Fulham just pulled itself out of the relegation conversation. Massive dub that also opens the door for us to jump over Chelsea with a result, which is huge because we are coming up after this West Ham match against Chelsea in our next league match, so... All of a sudden, a draw is looking pretty hot in a match like that. <sighs> the pressure builds. The Europa League semifinal and the last six matches of the Premier League. They have the Everton midfielder Onana. Yes, that is very likely the person that actually scored the goal. <sighs> Bellarmino Seca's in contention for young player of the month or whatever. I mean, fair. He's very good. Okay, guys. Newcastle is losing to Bournemouth. Well, that complicates things. I mean, that helps us get in the Champions League, but that also makes it very difficult. You know, whatever. We got to win. FA Cup semifinal, Liverpool, Man City. Who's the other semi? Arsenal already beat Coventry, so it's going to be a team in the top seven or whatever. I guess Liverpool might not be. They could literally steal a Europa League spot with an FA Cup win. That would be so annoying. Can you imagine we finish ahead of Liverpool and then they just pull out an FA Cup win and you're like, ah, never mind. Guess we're not going to Europe. All right, Coyote is no. We're going Rico. This is full first team. This is Rico, Romero, Inacio, Vandeven, Guerra, Basuma, Kulazevsky. Hard not to start Constantelius, but I do love his impact off the bench and then Indrik as well. Constantelius also just played back-to-back -back matches. So we've got Mikey Mora, we've got Yanis, we've got Gamara. Gamara. Ah, oh, it's Gamara. Ah! Mastantuano could uh, hop on the Maston to the Franco Mastantuano train. Don't give that guy nearly enough looks. We'll do that. I mean, no, it's Lee Kongin. That's the guy that we've been using in that spot on the bench when we got our first team out there. So let's take it to him, shall we? Shall we, lads? Shall we? Are 
don't really see anything that's going to bother me. Maybe Zanotti getting forward, but I forgot what tactic we were in. We don't need to mark two central midfielders in this tactic. There's our chance for revenge, boys. For revenge. Dr. Twitchy, thank you so much for the, the, the tier one, man. Thanks for supporting the stream. And Lindish Gamate, thank you for the two months. Hope you guys enjoy your ad-free experience. Just win the Europa League? True. We win the Europa League. We are in the Champions League. That is the extra spot reserved. Wow, what a play by Rico. Did he save that? Oh, Guillaume Restes is a very good keeper. So did Kobe Mino get an upgrade? I'm sure he did. Oscar Bob apparently got a huge one. I haven't looked at the new database yet. Oh, there you go. Right off James Ward-Prowse. Eves Basuma. Look at this from Eves. Kulazewski. That's absolutely brilliant. And finally, it's Dayan Kulazewski that scores for Tottenham. What a run by Eves Basuma. What a finish. And it is Tottenham Hotspur that have the lead over West Ham. Pushing for what is likely to be a Champions League position in fifth in the league table. Of course, Liverpool playing later today. Might have something to say about that. Oi. Oh, no, Bellarmino. Come on, show off, dude. You're so good. Misses it. Oh, no way. Kulazewski. Oh, dang it. Seca. Dayan Kulazewski. Inacio Zanini. Oh, man, that was on target. What a save. Restus is earning his paycheck today. Ah, yeah. Okay, who's got it? Kulazevsky. Yes, Javi Guerra. He's got literally three guys within two feet of him. Somebody's open. Kulazevsky. Basuma. Oh, Zanini tucked that in. That's on side. That's Hendrick. And it's 2-0 Tottenham. Hendrick is on fire. From the moment he got comfortable here. Great run by Zanini. We gave him the number 20. We knew the young boy would back it up. He's making plays out there for us, and he's giving us a real nice goal difference right now. It's not just the points with so many teams so close together and some big matches coming up for us. It is that goal difference. Seca. Oh, it is Indrik. Surely not. Oh. oh, stop it right now, you dog. Oh, you, you dog. Oh, Rico. Got him bottled up in that corner. 
They refuse to hit it long, but they don't. Their midfield's too deep. They're not able to escape the front part of our pressure. Zanini is there. Basuma's there. Zanini's literally the fastest man alive. He's got that. Oh, Zanini. Eves squaring up. Thought he was going to shoot that. Kind of glad he didn't. Good. Masala Anasio. Dude can play a ball. Don't need him to always, but always I want him to take a peek. He's on ball playing defender. Oh, Rico, wall pass to himself. Zanini, what a save. God, get this guy out of here. This guy off my screen. All right, Guillermo Restas has saved them like two goals, two XG in this first half. We are rampant. Gara, looking at Mickey. Not out of the woods yet. You've got Indrik to deal with. Oh, that's actually a bad pass. <laughs> nice. Oh, did I, oh, why? It was still in, dude. Kulazewski, cooperate. Come on. Ooh. Oh, that's a pen. Yeah, that must have hit an arm or something. So we'll make sure that it is Javi Guerra, who continues to be an excellent spot kick taker for us. Because every goal is important. Uh, dude, I'd love to have Guillaume arrest us. He's the best Wonder Kid keeper in the game right now. We made that Wonder Kid 11 video. He was the goalkeeper. Javi Guerra. Give me that! Cookies! A 3-0 first half for Tottenham Hotspur. We want that goal difference advantage over everybody. And we are starting to build it. We're putting together some really big wins. He's a good penalty taker. That was really good. Uh, you're doing brilliantly. Keep this up. We've got uh, six days off before we play Chelsea. A rare respite. Can't wait. Oh. Let's look for fitness. Sub guys out when we feel like they're getting down. Uh -oh. oh, let's go, Rico. Gara Kulazewski. Oh, Seca. Love his vision. Gets Zanini in a really clean isolation. Kulazewski. What a waste. What a waste of talent. Okay, we need Yanis Constantelius, obviously. Uh, we need anybody else? Not sharp that probably should be. We'll get Eves Basum off. He's an old man, after all. Hector Gamara in for Javi Guerra. And maybe we'll go get Zanini, too. Yeah, I mean, we are. I'm 3-0. All right, guys, go uh, go take care of business. Those guys will be very fresh for Chelsea in a couple of days. Every team that is not in the big, let's say, seven, including Newcastle, so the other six teams in that, any team we play that's not in that, we have been absolutely fantastic. We've been really good. We can noob stomp with the best of them. Oh, Vandeven, that was a header and a half. Currently at Ajax in 2031, just got a job offer from Juventus. Did the interview to see if I'd get the job. I mean, I, I could see how if you, oh my goodness, Constantelius. What was that? I can see how the Juventus job might actually be worse than Ajax if you're getting, like, Champions League semifinals and stuff. I'm sorry. That's in the game? Yanis unlocking whole new...
You guys seeing this nonsense Constantelius is pulling out in the six yard box? This is opening up a little window so he can play the ball back. You know, nothing to see here from Yanni's Constantelius. Ooh. Ooh. Dude just is cooking. The restaurant is open for business from my boy. Oh, Kamara. Oh. Honestly, what's the rating on Guillaume Restas? He has a 7.3 and they're losing 3-0. Inacio, good God. Are there three of them in the goal? This guy should really give it a rest. Thank you. I'll be here all week. Amazing we managed to score three goals against this guy. All right, Lank Shear, didn't think so. Oh, Vicario, he's getting bored back here, man. Thanks. Thank you for the 38 months or whatever. You know, Georgie, thank you for the 30 months. Number of years the player is is when it's time to swap them out for a 16-year-old dude. So true. Tyre Barrio, thank you for the three months. I heard one of your friends got possessed by an owl. And then I'm supposed to say, who? It's me. I'm the one that got possessed by the owl. Oh, nice header down. Oh, yes, and it's Gamara. No saving that for Guillaume Restus. It's the kid from the reserves smacking at home. Kulazevsky, good header down. Great volley into the ground from Gamara. We always find a couple of guys in the reserves that are able to show up and really contribute. Just kind of fill a, fill a gap in the team in an hour of need. Well, Vandevin on the move. More. Oh, it's Constantelius! Amazing he didn't manage to get that right, considering how good he's been recently. Just kind of really mishit that with his left. All right, guys. That is another dominant win in the Premier League to make five straight wins in all comps. We are feeling alive right now a win and a good performance we are hitting our stride at exactly the right time liverpool and aston villa have a match in hand which makes all the difference right now but we are bournemouth did complete their win over newcastle we are two points out of the top four right three points out of the top three man city with a match in hand we don't know against two united are running top arsenal are the the primary chase at the top towards the end of the season, but we actually get, you know, five days off here before we take a road trip to Stamford Bridge to take on Chelsea. Liverpool is? They is a hadn't played yet when our match ended. Do do do. I figured they were playing on like Monday or something. But we are, we are rolling. We're, we, we got it. We lost those two straight matches to start the stream, right? 1-0 at City, 2-1 at home against Liverpool, and we have just cooked ever since. Coventry, Brighton, West Ham, see ya. Lons in both Europa League legs, see ya. Adios, amigo. And now Chelsea away, after which there will only be four matches left in the league. Arsenal, Brentford, Bournemouth, Crystal Palace. Brentford and Crystal Palace are both around the bottom of the table. Bournemouth is obviously in the race for European place, and Arsenal's racing for the freaking league title. So there's still plenty going on. Uh, Liverpool has not played yet. Let's see if they play today. 
Or they're just collecting a match in hand, I guess. Byron's back level. Ah, West Brom has taken the lead over Coventry in the championship. Ah, huh. I say. AC Milan and Lazio, 22 minutes in. My boy playing. Yep, there he is. Giroud, Pulisic, Leao, and Loftus-Cheek. What a front four. They're like third, right? I know that uh, Inter's running away with it, but yeah, they're third. Okay. Looking like a really confident Champions League season from Ak Milan. All right, I am kind of sold on this guy. Jenny's Rejevich is very good, and he's only valued at 42 million. So I, yeah, he's on target acquired. All right. My opinion of Calvin has gone up once we completed the scouting. That's more like it. This guy's still good. His adaptability is terrible. He's not going to be somebody you can rely on when you bring him in early. But that guy's good. You can't tell me that guy's not good. He boogies. Although he is somehow slower than we expected him to be based off what we knew about him already. So this is just updated reports on the uh, guys that we knew about but didn't know about entirely. That dude's at Cardiff will probably be looking to move at the end of the season. Lorenzo Algarvio. That is a just sensational name. Lorenzo Algarvio. Adel Abdel Rahim. I actually just learn how to do one other thing than receive the ball and pass it to somebody else, and you'll probably be a really good player, but you're just not right now. And that's because you don't know how to do anything else, man. Hardworking midfielder. Oh, so you're bad. Oh, so you're just not very good. Ah, oh, hate to see that. Yasin Mayer, that, that's a lot of pace. It's a lot of pace. That'll cloud your judgment if you're somebody like me looking at the transfer market thinking, man, we need somebody fast. And Cuckoo's already 32. Yeah, he's, he's basically in, a, in the grave at this point in football manager terms. Uh, uh, da, da, da. Okay, good. Even though I played Indrick at wing once, he's not mad at me for it. I do have a, pl a promise to play him as an advance forward, or else I would definitely be experimenting with him on the wing a lot more. Oh, it's a month from now. I named my World Cup squad a month from now. You scared me, dude. There's a lot that's going to happen in that next month, dude. So, you know, I've got five Premier League match. I mean, when, when is it? I guess I do have to finalize my World Cup squad before the end of the Premier League season, which is kind of wild. Oh, no, Liverpool lost a six-pointer to Aston Villa, who jumps into the coveted seventh place, and Liverpool falls to ninth, tied with three teams. That means with all matches played, we are in fifth. And if we beat Chelsea, we jump four points clear of them with four matches remaining. A massive fumble by Liverpool gives Aston Villa the spot to maybe sneak into Europe. Bournemouth is still there. They won their most recent match. Ninth to fifth is still a two-point gap. It is literally all sitting there to play for. But, uh, hey, you know what? Manchester City won. Arsenal won. So the race for the title is one point between United and Arsenal. Man City is six points off that top, hoping to cause some havoc. 
I'm trying to catch Man City. I haven't finished below third place in a league since the start of the save. be fun to keep that going, obviously. You want to keep your eyes up the table. Newcastle's right in front of us. If they lose and we win, we're out of them. All right. Players are signed. Youth players that didn't make the cut have been released. Long may they reign in the National League. Oh, uh, yeah. Polisic's already back for the U.S. Those guys are all back for the, uh, for the World Cup. Richards, Carter, Vickers, and... Uh, Polisic are all back. Madison warns Tottenham about Osaman. Yeah, I'm aware of him. Okay. Nathaniel Bounds re uh, Brown's recent good club form may well lead to question about whether the player will retain his current, current preference to represent Germany. USA may well see themselves as having a realistic chance of persuading the player to switch and represent them. Why would you lie to me like that? Obviously, he doesn't. Why would you lie? Why would you want to do that? Why would you want to look me dead in my eye sockets and lie to me? That strikes me as a very mean thing to do. And yet they have done it. Once again. I asked him, and he said, I don't know. So, Tottenham Hotspur, absolutely brilliant. <sighs> Five straight wins after two losses, dude. That's pretty good. But I'll tell you what. I got five and a half hours of sleep. And I know we're not going to be able to finish the season today. And I want to save a match before Athletic Club to kind of get warmed up. Before we get into the Europa League semifinals, unfortunately. Look at the youth intake players. I mean, I told you we had a couple of good guys, but there's nothing crazy. They, it wasn't the actual youth intake. That was the guys that signed. We we signed the youth intake. We are We are going to... We're going to leave it here. We're going to finish the season on Monday and then get into the offseason as well. Um, yeah, no, we have a very good Barbadian coming through the intake. We are going to raid somebody, so stick around for that. Uh, I promise you, though, the video that we finished last night, longest script I've ever written for any football story video we've ever done. So hopefully you guys are going to love that. I love you guys. Fist bump. Thank you, everybody, for supporting the stream, all of the subs, tons of gifted subs earlier today. I really appreciate that. I'm not kidding when I say every one of those makes a difference because we have a huge editorial team, and that's what allows us to have uh, the editorial team that we have. So let's find, uh, find somebody to raid and share the good cheer on this wonderful Friday because we just had a very good stream even though we lost our first two matches, which is hard to do. Oh, Dan's streaming. Well, now he's big meaty, and apparently he can't change his name back, which is hilarious. But this is Viking Dan. There are over 2,600 hammers on the face of the earth. I am incredibly appreciative of that. That is insane. I, I used to be happy. I, I remember when I had 50 followers, I was like, I can't believe there are 50 people that are waiting for me to get on and stream. Like, that's just so cool. But I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend. Uh, and if you didn't see, we did drop a uh, Reddit video this morning. Also, Zealandism's two videos a day right now. It's freaking popping. But I'll see you guys on Monday. We will finish the season then. And hopefully we are winning Tottenham's first trophy ever. Clearly. Literally their first trophy ever. Have a, have a great weekend, everybody. Bye. Ever. All righty, word of the day is inveterate. Inveterate. Nice. I-N-V-E-T-E-R-A-T-E. -E -E. Inveterate is a formal word used to describe someone who is always or often doing something specified. For instance, a person who could be an inveterate liar or an inveterate prankster, 
Inveterate can also mean firmly established by long persistence, as in an inveterate tendency to overlook the obvious. That's a cool word. She's an inveterate traveler who constantly searches for flight deals to her next destination. Carla's inveterate optimism keeps her going during challenging times. Sick. See you at the end of another stream for another word of the day. Have a good weekend, everybody.